Um, I kind of feel like we're getting somewhat near the end of here. But uh, maybe not. I don't know. Uh, it's always hard to tell. But considering we dealt a very decisive blow to the Empire uh, yesterday, and now we're about to get Ultima, it kind of feels like we're getting there. Fucking hell. Jesus. I have decided it is now canon that all our special guest helpers must die. Layla... I'm sorry to say, you must die. You, it's it's only fair. It's only fair that uh, Layla uh, spends her time dead. Now, we are running into that situation again. <laughs> we are out of resources. <laughs> we have no potions left, despite buying lots and lots of them. Um, <clears throat> we have no mana left. And the team is dying. Uh, we have over 200,000 gil for some reason. <laughs> so we, we have a couple of choices. We have reached the end of this cave. We have reached the end of the cave, but there's clearly somewhere we haven't been because we can't do anything when we get there. So we could teleport out, which would be the smart decision, and buy stuff. We could go and do that. Or... <clears throat> We can hold on, because we can't afford to teleport out later, and just see if we can make it. So what I could use here is the Cure Tome uh, in combat, which will give us a decently big heal. Uh, so I, I, I kind of think we're nearly done. We're just missing one area. And to be fair, these enemies are very weak. So we've just been sort of gradually worn down. So I don't think we have too much to worry about. We've killed the boss already. That's done. The boss has been defeated. I am not playing FF11. See, there's a chest there we've not been to. How do we get there? That's the only question I have, is how do we get there? Because that chest probably contains whatever we need to finish the dungeon. We need uh, a necklace of some description. Right, this is a problem, though, because these really hurt. So, let's cure everybody. If we bump into too many of these, we're definitely going to have to uh, get the hell out. Uh, do we raid about you over the weekend? No, we raid... Uh, we didn't set a time. Uh, I want to raid. Um, when is the reset, Jakey? Is it reset today? Uh... It's, oh, it resets two days. So we've got, what, three days? Uh, uh, I could do with a Discord. Uh, we could do with a Discord. Do you know the Discords of the rest of the team to set a time? Like, I could, I'll make time around you guys because we should have set it at the end of yes the last raid. Uh, you think I'm being blind? Uh, oh, I am being blind. It's here. That's just a helmet. That's not helpful. Yeah, we could do with a Discord being so. <clears throat> I'm still blind. Am I? What am I missing? Oh, the gold thing. Alright, oh, I see that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Haven't we been past that, though? I thought we'd been past that. Oh, shit. Uh, I'm gonna have to use magic here. Uh, this is kind of a... We are running out of resources here. This is this is definitely a problem. Uh, I... I kind of think we can make it. Phoenix Down only resists with 1 HP. That's the problem. Alright, this is fine. We can kill these. These don't do anything. Uh, Gigas is going to be the problem. If we have to fight Hill Gigas over and over again, we're going to have to teleport out. Uh, we just need a... Um, 
just a Discord channel. A Discord channel would be fine. Uh, 20 HP. Ah, uh, oh, for fuck's sake. Uh, yeah, this is bad. Okay. This is really bad. Um... No one's got any mana left, have they? Right, we're not going to die here, but yeah, I think we have to teleport out. <laughs> Unless? 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 Nope. <laughs> okay. All right. All right, all right. Message received. Message received. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Fair enough. I, I will t I will lick my wounds elsewhere. Uh, okay, there is a close place to get healed up. That's fine. Oh, no. Fuck. Are we going to be relying on Zeppelin to get us home? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Why did I push it too far? All right, Zeppler, hold the line, Zepp. You got this. Hey, at least she'll gain some HP. Well, she won't, actually, because he can't even hit her. Yeah, I was going to say her HP would grow, but it won't, right? Because she's not even getting hit. Uh, canoe across. We can't get attacked on the canoe. Alright, there's the boat. Come on, man. Just don't be like 8 million enemies. That's all I need. Yeah, I, I, that's all I ask for is... Why do we keep ending up like this? I'm buying... Okay, we have 200,000 gil. I am buying so much stuff. I am going to have potions for the rest of the game. I'm not stingy. We were poor until we d did the last couple of things. We had no money left. Where this money has come from is baffling. Baffling. We have had less than 10k for the entire game. And then suddenly we had like 200,000 for some reason. Really? We haven't grinded anything. That's what I don't understand. They're really trying as well. <laughs> They're really, really trying. You gotta give them credit. <laughs> if only this could be like our tanks or something. Easy game. And she leveled a knife up. That's fine. Okay, is there a sanctuary here? Yeah, that's the sanctuary of this town, isn't it? Okay. Yeah, you can buy Phoenix down. Only resurrects with 1 HP, though. I was out of heals, so. Any hit would have killed them again. Just be a waste of Phoenix down, considering they can come back to life here. Hey, welcome back, everybody. Let's go and have a nice sleep at the inn, which is probably going to cost us like half a million gil now. Considering the shape everybody's in. This is going to be one expensive bench. 2,000 gil to sleep. Wow. <sighs> I better get some breakfast with that. And I'm not talking about a full English or a continental baby. Okay. Uh, I will take... 20 ethers. Uh, 
I will take 99 high potions. <laughs> 99 potions. <laughs> there we go. Good. Uh, we haven't need any of these. What do we use this money on? Bells? Cottages? I mean, we're, when we're out in the open world, we're safe. Pretty much. Uh, we've already taught this Basuna and Asuna. I don't care about fear or silence, particularly. Mm. The only time we need a Phoenix down is if we've run out of resources. And by then, we should be kind of on our merry way. Uh, is there any weapons to buy? Cottage is full recovery on the open world, yeah. Crap, crap, crap. Except for her. But, I mean, we're gonna let her die as soon as humanly possible anyway. Uh, yeah, I, I think we just go back. I don't know what we do with this money, but alright. Whatever. This game isn't horrible. It's just got some bizarre decisions. That's all. I don't know where Sid and Hilda are. And we just seem to be okay that they've left. <laughs> they escaped the Dreadnought. And have gone. <laughs> Where they've gone. Nobody seems to care. <laughs> For all I know, Sid has just left. Uh, and kidnapped... Uh, kidnapped Hilda. So, yeah deal with that, I suppose. Uh... Oh, I don't want to go in here. We need to go the one way we haven't. Uh, Diplo is not that overpowered. She's very weak health-wise compared to the rest of the team. She has almost half the HP of our other characters. I don't... The weirdest decision this game has made is this fourth guest star that they add to the party constantly that is just radically underleveled and useless. I am so weirded out by this decision. I think Layla is the fourth guest star we've had. We've had Gordon, we've had uh, Joseph, Layla, and we got somebody... And we had Minyu. Yeah, Minwu. And they're always, besides Minwu, who's ridiculously overpowered. Where do we go? Top right, I think. Everybody else was just radically underpowered for some reason. And it's useless. And by the time we sort of level them up so they're somewhat useful, they leave and get replaced by another low level person. So I, I don't get it. Gordon only earned in the finale and then he left the team and got replaced by Layla I can't imagine they expected you to just go on power level every time a new member joined the team right that would be so weird what would you even do go out into a field and beat the shit out of Layla until she toughens up like some sort of starship troopers war camp Which is what you would have to do to sort of power level it, really, is just have the rest of the team beat... Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? You come across the remains of a dragoon. Something nearby catches your eye. <clears throat> the question is... Do we go and use this at the lake? Or do we just take this back to the Wyvern? I think considering we're near the entrance, we take it back to the Wyvern. Because I don't... It's supposed to be able to speak to the Wyvern, so that makes sense. Right? At least that makes sense to me, is if we take it to the Wyvern... And then I think it maybe says go to the lake. 
<clears throat> We're right near the door, so it makes sense to go and check that out. Luna Sky, thank you for the 30 months. Thank you so much. So much. If we're watching close enough, your ears may have hairs. I trim my ears a lot. I have, uh... I don't questionably, uh... I have ear growth. I'm at that age. I told you, like, the most embarrassing thing that happened to me in recent memory was when the barber didn't even ask and just trimmed my ears. And I just sat there like, well, that's never happened before. Uh... Huh. <laughs> Noted. <laughs> Noted. I was like, okay. <laughs> okay. Was it that you fight in the gym? No, 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 no. Fight in the gym sucks, but I mean, that, it happens. It sucks, but it happens. Yeah, like, he didn't even ask. He had the, um, the clippers, and he was doing, like, the sideburns or whatever. And then he just went at my ears, and I was like, oh. <laughs> Well, <laughs> message received. <laughs> message received. Uh, we went down here where the mother and son are. I think this is correct. No. Uh, are these just empty rooms? Are these loot rooms? Yep, standard procedure. Yep. Hey, I don't mind it. Like, my barber, like, tri uh, trims my eyebrows. I love it. I love it. I actually do to go to the barber's. My fucking hair is all over the place. I will go tomorrow. That will be a Saturday task. Oh, here we are. Okay. We seek your aid in destroying the Empire, our common foe. Will you help us? Empire's poison already courses through my veins. I will not escape the fate that befell my brood. Uh, Dragoons. So basically Mike has performed half the transformation to having cat ears. Yes, I'm on the way. Shortly before the battle with the Empire, a Dragoon named Rickard set out to find the ultimate magic. Where he has gone, I do not know. Uh, okay. What about the women's? Oh. I have one last request to make of you. Take this egg to the cavern north of here and submerge it in the life spring. It is the last remaining withered egg. If it is not submerged in the life spring soon, it will wither and die. We made the right decision. Excellent. Bye! Uh, does anybody remember how we got to the, the life spring? Uh... Uh, uh, <laughs> that gith egg. Hey, I I did not take the gith egg. I was a good boy. I could have taken the gith egg, but I did not. I was a very smart boy. <laughs> it's in a cave, Shrooge. Uh, I think it was bottom left. I think it was bottom left main room. And then left at the bridge. I think that's correct. Yeah, it's the very end of the dungeon and we've already killed the boss. Because apparently we went every single direction except the one we were supposed to go in. We're not lost. Ha! Suck it, Layla fucking loser. That's damage that should have gone to one of my main party. The crime will be if Layla is the last member to join the team. Which she can't be. It has to be Chadley. Uh, we should use some magic here. Kill Layla. Kill Layla. Yeah. <laughs> Finally. Now we can play the game. Uh, 
I wish I could just kick her out of the team. I'd be so much happier. Right, where did we go from here? Uh, we went down here. It survived? Bullshit. Get out of it. Uh, down here. And then around here. No, I want her dead. Uh, the way the leveling works in this game is literally anything that that useless character that's going to replace does, or even damage taken, is negatively affecting my actual team. Right, now don't, don't blame me, it's the mechanics of the game. Oh, we need to be up there. Uh, do we get to there through here? Yeah, that's the way into the lake, is that room there. I'm not worried about it. I just don't see any reason to have that character there. Like, even with her current stats, she has Thunder, which she can use. But with her current stats, she barely does any damage anyway without me having to level her up. Like, she's utterly pointless. Her melee can't get through the defenses of the current enemies at all. She just does literally zero damage. I really see no justification for having that party member in the team. Even if she's hitting things, she's taking attacks away from my current team who are still leveling their weapons. There's a zero benefit as far as I can see. She's hot. Do you love me some sexy pixels? <laughs> I love me some sexy pixels. There's the lake. Uh, can I get? Oh, we got ambushed. F. We do what we can with what we have. Use your imagination. Remember, it was the nineties. <laughs> Just apply a bit of imagination to it all, and you'll be fine. You'll get the idea pretty quick. Uh, oh, you got your blizzards for level five. Good for you. Eighties. Yeah, yeah. In the 80s, she was a very big deal. The Layla fan art was huge. A lot of Rule 34 going on with Layla back in the day. You ran away, you fucking turtle. This way. This is the wrong way. This is the wrong way. So it must be the bottom right entrance. Why doesn't Asuna work? What does it say? Cure status ailments. Does it need to be level 2 to work on that or something? Where basic antidote works? Right, so we need to go back. It was door number 3 that gets to the lake, if I remember right. Here. Now, Basuna is ailments that exist. Uh, I, need, I need to check the wording again. Okay. Yeah, using Blizzard against the frost-resistant enemies. Not my wisest choice today, I'm sure. But I'll make worse ones. I think it's fire. Basuna is for ailments that go away after battle. Yeah, away after battle. It's the, oh yeah, these are just melee enemies. 
Layla's taking a little rest. She's had a long day, that girl. Don't worry about it. Hard day of being a pirate, Captain. Okay, we need to go back up here. Around here. All right, melee, melee. Just melee them. Yeah, 650, 446. Where am I going on date night? Emma wants to go to a ribs place. <laughs> I expect her to dress up and look spectacular and make me feel like a king. Uh, and then about an hour later, be covered in rib sauce. And that makes her extra tasty. So that's a win-win on my part. I, I'm on a no-lose situation tonight. I can't. It's going to be good. <laughs> it's going to be good. I'm going to be all right. <laughs> they are messy, but she, seen a, she saw a ribs place, and she's like, we should go to a ribs place. And I'm like, why? I've never seen you order ribs ever. And she's like, because I've never had, like, nice ribs, I don't think. Like, she's convinced that there's, like, a type of rib she's not had that's really, really good. And uh, if she finds that rib, she'll be a rib fan. Alright. I'm down. I'm not going to turn down some good quality ribs. Ribs are good. I'm not sure. I wanted to troll to this Portuguese place because it looks interesting. Uh, and it's got, I said, it's. I said, uh, am I the lame one here? I was like, ribs aren't particularly romantic. Uh... And she's like, ooh, you want romance? She like, took the piss out of me for saying that like I was a, a big fucking loser. She's like, ooh, you want to be romantic? I'm like, well, it is date night, so... <laughs> uh, and then she, she's like, ooh, am I going to get wined and dine? I was like, oh, fuck you then. Uh, I was just like, a ribs place compared to like a, a nicely lit place. I'm with you, it's date night. We can go to a place that's a little bit more cozy and a little bit more private. I think, that, I think that's fair. Jesus Christ, that dude just hit me for 400, fucker. Give me a big plate of meat. We're not in Disneyland. Uh, you're our healer, right? Yeah, you are. Of course, ribs are romantic. Just look at the Bible. <laughs> I don't think uh, when they, when they co cobbled the Bible together, their image was of... Um, uh, Ribs covered in some sort of excellent powder and sobs. I'm not even a big fan of ribs. I'm not doing an American food tier list. Not after yesterday. My Twitter feed can only take so much abuse in 24 hours. I, I got kind of really, uh, to be fair, it started a bit of a war between the uh, believers and non-believers. People feel very strongly about wine gums. Interesting fact I learned. <laughs> wine gums, kind of a big deal. <laughs> oh, the gourmet burger place. Yeah, I've tried that, but it's again, it's I wouldn't say the only one I know of is in the traffic center. Uh, I think I've eaten there once. I'm not going anywhere where I have to... Uh, for a romantic dinner where you have to order off an app. I am not down with that bullshit at all. Ooh, giant's gloves. Hold. Yeah. Reduce that magic, but we go burr. Fast food places, whatever. I'm totally down with using an app for that. That's fine, but restaurants that are now like when you're ready to order scan our qr code Ugh. you like trifle cara god damn it god damn trifle lover eh should have known should have known Trifle is literally just the combination of whatever you had in the fridge all stuck together. I stand for trifle. 
I will die on this hill. I stand for trifle. My allegiance lies with the trifle lovers. Sticky toffee pudding. Top tier. Top tier. Oh, well, proper English sweets like blackjacks and fruit salads. They're antiquated now. I'm not even sure you can buy blackjacks anymore. There was a weird period of time where it was considered quite cool if you could get your tongue to turn black. Happy those days are gone, honestly. <laughs> Looks like you've been licking coal. Mm. <laughs> yeah, Jam Roly Poly wasn't on the list. Hard to find a good Jam Roly Poly these days, though, because a lot of people think what that bitch Bessie is producing is good Jam Roly Poly, that fucking bore. She's ruined Jam Roly Poly. Now you can't find a good one anywhere. Jam Roly Poly was initially my number one dessert all time. Oh, Bessie can go fuck herself. Not this one. What's our mana? Yeah, we're fine. We've already killed the boss. Let's see that. I bet you microwave it. Absolutely not. I have made homemade jam roly poly, and it was amazing. I've only ever done it once, though, because it's also a complete pain in the ass. That's where that Mary Berry can fuck off and all. All you do is these 19 fucking steps, and it's all done. That Paul Hollywood prick can fuck off and all. Wanker. I fucking hate cooking shows where they're like, oh, you just do this, this, and this, and you have, like, a fucking gourmet meal at your hands. And then you make it, and it looks like a fucking clown made it by smashing it into someone's face, and it fell on the floor. And you just feel so bad about yourself afterwards, like, you're not a failure at life. Yeah, Mary Berry, you probably made this fucking dish 9,000 times, like a factory. Now you're expecting me to whip it up in five minutes. Just make it a perfect fucking rectangle or whatever. Shut the fuck up, Mary Berry. I fucking hate Mary Berry. I hate anybody who makes me think I could do something really easily that I can't do. You love Bake Off? You like old Bake Off or new Bake Off? What's he called? Nola. Do you prefer a bit of Mary Berry or Nola? I think Bake Off is like one of the most popular shows on television. <laughs> Hasn't it got like an average viewership of like 14 million people or something? <laughs> That's insane. They like, have people who love a bit of Bake Off. I'll bake off. It's just because I just... I don't have the time to do that level of cooking. I do it at the weekend, and I can cook pretty well. But... When they whip something up in 10 minutes... Do you know what? There was a, there's a YouTube channel that I saw a cooking one that really annoyed me, and it was a guy making fast food better and faster than you can order it on takeaway. And I was like, that's kind of interesting. I watched it. It's like, can I make, say, KFC faster than you can ordering it? And I was like, that's pretty... I can't remember the guy's name. Uh, and he did. And it looked really nice. So I thought, oh, cool. I'll make... Uh, my kids love, like, um, a fried chicken sandwich. But obviously, fried chicken sandwiches are very hit and miss. I, I, I can't remember. I Honestly, that might be the name. I don't know. I can't, I did not look at the name of the channel. I just clicked the video. Uh, and I don't know if he told me. Whatever. Doesn't matter. I don't know who it was. Um, and he did do it. And it looked awesome. It looked so nice. But when he started pulling out his, like, backup jar of pickle juice and shit. I was like, <sighs> so I decided to do is, like, okay, I'm going to make this with my kids. Me and my kids are going to make uh, their perfect chicken sandwich. Because... They like that kind of stuff, and I can make it nice. I was like, okay, cool. So I, I got the ingredients list. I went to Asda, and I picked up the shit, 
And I came back and I was like, right, we're going to make this. It made such a mess. Now, yeah, sure, I was doing it with my kids, which is like, they're going to make a mess. But it also used ingredients I would never use again in my life. And I was <laughs> no, it wasn't Babish. I know who Babish is. Um, and then pulling the little bits of pickle juice in and speckling in the fucking liquid to make some extra crispy bits. And <sighs> you know what the problem was? After I'd made it, it came out really nicely. I made it. It was so succulent and nice. And by the end of it, it cost me more, taken five times longer, and wasn't really that much better than a KFC sandwich. It was better, unquestionably, but it wasn't that much better. And I was like, this is just a waste of time. And I've, I've now got to clean up like a dust tray, a wet tray. I've got to like clean up the oven. I've got like, these fucking jars of juice that I've got to sort. It's just a pain in the ass. 24 months. Hey, wow. Zerge, thank you so much. That old still StarCraft 2 tag from back in the day, man. That's so good. I clean as I go. I've learned that since I worked in nightclubs. Is I always clean as I go, but... <sighs> it's so much effort. Praise be to the air fryer. I stand for the air fryer. It's... Right, Finn? It's always some bullshit that they're like, oh, you need this as well. Uh, key items. All right, we're here. With an egg. The withered egg sinks gently to the bottom of the spring. The egg rests deep at the bottom of the spring. Okay. Did I just drown a baby? I think I just drowned a baby. Uh, I guess we leave. I have no options and things to do here. All right, see ya. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I just came through a cave, drowned a baby, and now I'm just gonna leave it. <laughs> I recently played through Bioshock Infinite oh, and really? had a lot of fun with it. So I went back and played the older ones, but they were kind of mid and boring in comparison. Do they get better at some point and I have to push through to get to the good parts? I don't know why you have to be this way. I really don't. You know, behind the scenes, there's a lot of people making a lot of effort for you to have a good time. And you use it for this. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You, you... <laughs> Unnecessary. Unnecessary. Unnecessarily cruel. Super unnecessary. <clears throat> there are not many ways to get bad here, but that'll still do it. No, I don't give a shit about people not liking games, but you, if you're just going out of the way to just annoy me, that's a different. What, what, what am I missing? What's happening? I can't believe this. Apparently, the thumbnail, the thumbnail for our stream on Twitch is Raven's steam boobs. <laughs> Whoa, I hate everything. Why must it be this way? We only just started the day. We've just started the day. Uh, uh, this this is what the thumbnail is. The hunt for child. Uh, this is what pops up. What the fuck, man? <sighs> fuck you, Raven. You asshole. Morning, Sebi. How you doing, buddy? Oh, we're in a raid. Welcome, Raiders. Welcome, Raiders. Trust, we're not looking at anime cat girls, guys. I promise you. It was a it was it was a point of mockery this morning. Okay, that's what was happening. It was a point of mockery. We're actually on an adventure through all the single-player FFs, a journey which is near the end. We've got two. We're two right now. 
Uh, five and 13 to go. 13 is next up. Uh, that's what we're actually doing. We're not looking at anime overly endowed cat girls. That's not what we were looking at. That came up as a, I can't believe somebody would make this type conversation. Okay. <sighs> That's what happened there. I don't. I don't want anybody to be any false pretense. Why not? Because I don't, I'm not going down this road. Look, you enjoy what you want to enjoy. You enjoy what you want to enjoy. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm not judging. I'm not judging. Well, not publicly. I'm not outwardly judging. Okay. I think that's fair. <laughs> I'm allowed to privately judge. <laughs> <laughs> these are like the you know what's interesting is like when we go to the old school obviously we're playing the pixel remaster is you can see how the ff enemies came to be so like the eventual ones that we see in like 14 15 and 16 but they start off with all these weird names like moogles i'm pretty sure originally were just beavers because the beavers are in this game the moogles aren't but next i think in three we got the sight of the moogles but originally it's like these weird beavers that live in a cave it's kind of fun to see where the ideas evolved from. I think the first Moogle was three. I think. Four had Loperits. Uh, six definitely had Moogles in it. Because there, there's a Moogle in the starter cave with six. But I think we saw Moogles in... Oh, we need to change our DPS lineup. The Beavers are in Ill Meg. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't always be a cat girl for the parties, actually. Actually. Oh, crap. We're out of mana. Yikes. Uh, it's happening again. Yeah, Six had the full-on uh, Moogle cave in Captain. And Mog could join the team, obviously. Wow, that cure really sucks, my guy. That cure really sucks. Uh, let me let me sort our boy out here, cause oh, level seven cure. That should be better. Although the mana drain now is pretty excessive. That's okay. You found a beaver emote? What the hell, man? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Why? Why? Oh, yeah, we've got a uh, FF11 special drama time tonight. I'm looking forward to it. After we did an FF11 drama uh, last Friday, the FF11, it's uncorked a lot of emotions from back in the day. So, yeah, we've got FF11 uh, drama coming in. Seems we, we tapped a keg. Uh, no, you, 100 is plenty to mess with, Bex. 100 is plenty. Unless you're adding 100 emotes to the channel every day, which is too many, 100 is a, a lot of flexibility. You've added 900 emotes to the channel. To be clear, that's what you're telling me, Bex, is that you've added 900 emotes to our channel. The thing is, every time you suggest removing one, Everyone likes it and they want it. Yeah, there's a lot of emotes that get used. Maybe we don't need... That one could go. That one could go. That one's horrible. I fucking hate that thing. I, you can get rid of that. That is like the beginnings of a gremlin outbreak. That one can absolutely go. I detest that one. That's awful. That thing will kill you. That thing will kill you so quickly. Not a fan of that one. Not at all. Can we get Lise Love back? I want Lise Love back. I, Lise is great. Lise is going to be such a big part of Dawn Trail. As soon as Lise finds out we're going to be spending time on the beach and there's going to be margaritas going, Lise is going to be back in Dawn Trail big time. I tell you, I can see. I can see Fedola putting Hot Wheels on a surfboard and they'll work together to have a good time. Lise will be by the beach. 
All those characters are coming up big in Dawn Trail. No, she's not. No, not Samantha Lee in a bikini. No. 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 Yeah, Layla's body. I wish we could attach it to a rope or something. <laughs> that would be too much fan service. It's unnecessary. That's as cringe as uh, you guys won't even get this, but uh, the Star Trek movies that put that like supermodel in a bikini for some reason. You know, it's amazing how many uh, years Star Trek went without having to put somebody blatantly in a bikini. <laughs> and the movies couldn't make it too. They couldn't make it too. <laughs> Need it. Best scene in the movie. <laughs> Best scene in the movie. Girl in a bikini. Okay. Right. Is the wyvern going to say something to us now we've laid the egg? If this fucking wyvern... I'm not memeing here. If this wyvern says, now you need to go back and get the egg out of the water, I'm going to be pissed. I'm going to be pissed. You now have drowned the baby. Now you need to go get the baby out. Okay. What do you got to tell us, Mr. Wyvern? I prefer Wyvern than Wyvern. So, deal with it. Okay. The last living wyvern is dead, but the egg you placed in the spring remains. Someday it will hatch, and the wyvern will spread its great wings and soar through the sky for the rebels. The wyverns can't thank you for what you've done, so allow me to do so in their place. We are grateful. <laughs> the wyvern is dead. How does this help me find Ultima? I don't know where we go now. Our clue to get Ultima was to come to the place of the Dragoons and help them out. We've done that. We've laid an egg. Drowned a baby. Cleared a cave three times. And now nothing. Okay, maybe something will happen when we leave this castle. Maybe we've triggered a story point. Hold. No. Okay. Um... I guess we go and see Gordon. If in doubt, go to Gordon, right? Kind of. Uh... Hmm. The only thing I talk to is Min Minwu or Gordon's probably the next clue. Uh, although we've got to find Hilda and Sid. Where could they be? Uh, let's go and rest. Let's go and rest. Resting always good. Let's go and have a little sleep. Sleeping can't really go wrong. I don't... Uh, considering the king... Oh, the king is dead. Uh, Hilda's missing... She's off in Marbella with Sid. Uh, so it only makes sense to go and see General Gordon. Maybe he's heard news. Heard tell of something happening somewhere. There's also a landmass to the northeast that we've not seen. Let's go see what's there too. Let's sleep up and go check that landmass out before we sail back. But first of all, let's sleep. 
Let's go bench. It's getting expensive sleeping off all this uh, <clears throat> magic use. 1400 a time now. What's our money situation? 240,000. No, we're fine. In before, you could buy a fat chocobo for half a million. If you want the true ending. We have ethers, but they're crap. Like, they're really expensive, and they're pretty crap. They heal, like, 20 mana points. Uh, of the, like, 200 we have. Right, what is this landmass up here? Yar, mateys, I be buccaneers. Climbing aboard ship to show you my fat belly. Uh, what's up here? Hello? Low level enemies. Okay. It just brings us back to here. Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's go see Gordon then. I have to imagine the world map's about to change. Either the world map's about to change or we're at somewhere near the end of the game. The only places we've not been to, if I think about it, are the desert. We've not been to the desert. Definitely nothing here. It just overlaps. Okay. Um, but that's kind of... And to the south... The southwest we've not been to either because we got cut off there earlier in the game. Right. We've explored that island. Uh... Oh, shit. Uh, thunder, thunder, thunder. Thundercats. Ho. We've been to that... There's a tower down there in that island we can't go in. This is a part of the world we haven't explored down here. So what's down here? Don't know, Brogok. Don't know. Right. Let's. What's down here? Right. Are these high level? Are these actually going to kill me? No, these should be fine. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah, these hurt. Okay, this is an endgame area. Uh, let's get our boat. Yeah, that's... Uh, we can survive down there, but it's, it's not going to be pretty. Let's go see Gordon. We're very close to Gordon. Let's see what Gordon's got to say. Not seen these before. Hmm. Yeah, the game plan is... Uh, it's a, I want to play all the mainline ones first. Because I never touched an FF till 14. Uh, but there are obviously a lot that people are interested in x2 apparently 13 has a variety of shit um tactics is another one that people keep bringing up but i want to do the base mainline games first before we start looking into like expansions and sequels and things like that and spin-offs in any single way 
I'm very interested in like what their core choices in development were. Yeah, 13 is next. 13 I'm excited for mainly because of how if when you mention 13 in any way, everyone erupts. <laughs> it's some sort of very uh, argumentative fashion. Like so angry, so infuriated. And... <sighs> All right, Gordon. Any hints and tips, pal? I dropped an egg in some water. What do you think of that? Hilda's been acting very strange lately. I try to speak to her and all she does is laugh. Where is she? Could the king's death have disturbed her so deeply? Why is she so bothered that her father has died? I just don't know what I can do to help her. Would you try speaking to her for me? Where is she? She's here? Where? Is she up here? No, oh, that's the tutorial room. She down here. Motherfucker, what? Oh, my dude, there is something I'd like to discuss with you. Kawaii, we'll be waiting outside. Oh, it's getting private. Me and Hilda. Why, hello. It's a bit forward of you, Hilda. Whoa. I mean, I like a girl who knows what she wants and isn't going to play any games. But this is a little forward. This is a little forward. I mean, you're a princess or a queen now. <clears throat> Come to me, my dude. Come here to my bed. <laughs> you're... Your Highness. Well, okay. Why are you just standing there, protagonist? I don't enjoy being teased. Um. Um. Well, okay. Now. Is he going down on her? You're mine, my dude. What have you done with the princess? She never shaved. Oh, no! Not so fast, you scurvy snake! Great, Layla's here. Yay. Allow me a queen! Outrageous. Uh, let's test him. <laughs> Layla's immediately on the floor. <laughs> okay. Uh, can you be meleeed? Are you weak to your water base, maybe? Thunder? Let's try fire as well. Okay, thunder's good. Melee's good. Ooh, charmed. Fire, not so good. Okay. You can keep meleeing. Uh, imagine your melee is better. Uh, you could go Thunder Boy. Oh no. Let's drop that melee out. Oh, never mind. <sighs> I've got a feeling we should have done that a while ago. <laughs> 15,000 gil, sure. Layla, just how much of that did you see? <laughs> Enough to know you shouldn't be letting your guard down around fetching young ladies, I'd say. We're real princess! I have terrible news. We've just heard a tournament is being held in Palamasia, and Princess Hilda is the prize. I'm coming with you. I... I want to help you rescue Hilda. Don't worry. I know just how you feel, Cap. Me and my boys will manage your army. I run Gordon's coming back! <laughs> Where's Chadley? 
We want Chadley. <laughs> Gordon's alive. Where is Chadley? Now I have to get Gordon killed again? God damn it. Uh, where is the tournament? Did anybody... T Paul, Paul, where's the tournament? You must rescue... Yeah, where? Uh, there's a prison beneath the Colosseum where they're having the tournament. I bet the princess is being held there. Where's the Colosseum? <laughs> they're giving away our princess of some kind of prize. I can't stand... Yeah, Palamasia. Where is Palamasia? We haven't been there yet. Take care, Prince Gordon. Palamasia. It's far to the south of Kashuan. Okay, it's in the desert. All right. It's in the desert. We're good. I got very worried then when they said far to the south because we've been down that road before. We have walked that road of far in a direction. And when they mean, they say far to the north, they actually mean in the very far southeast. As they did yesterday. <laughs> so, <laughs> the desert, I know where, I don't want to get to the desert. That's fine. Where did I park our boat? Uh, oh, it's kind of far away. I don't know if the game had a minimap back in the day. That would explain it. Ah, Snorthwest. Yes, easy. Easy Snorthwesterly direction. Perfect. It did not. Okay, then I can forgive it somewhat because it's very frustrating when they tell you to go north and they actually mean southeast. But it's not that forgivable, right? Because the one we're referring to told us to go north from here. Right? And the actual place is here. <laughs> what they could have said is south from here, because that's exactly where you just were before that point. So even though the lack of minimap I can kind of forgive, because they wanted you to go all the way through there, clip around and come back through here, a much better way of doing this would have been south of here. Just saying. Slightly forgivable, but not quite. To the desert we go. Yes, that makes me bad at directions. They could have said northwest. That works as well. Uh, you can get there by going south. Yes. The desert is about here. There it is. I'm not a flat earther, but I did read uh, on the interwebs, so it may not be true, that some NFL players just claimed he's not really sure if he believes in space and planets and things of that nature. It's an interesting take. Let's take uh, thunder here or blizzard. Let's find out. Why bother believe in it when you can't go to its shrine? It's one way of looking at it. You're not dead, Gordon. Any time now will do. A super religious dude. All right. Uh, not much mention of space in the Bible, as far as I remember, in the bits I've read. Oh, was it Blizzard? Did they were weak too? I can't remember now. Will you die, Gordon? Do you know God hid dinosaur bones in the ground to test our faith? Today I learned. <laughs> I did not know that. Thank you for educating me. I'm glad that so many of us can come together every day to learn something new. 
Oh shit, uh, this is really bad. Let's do a bunch of blizzards. Always remember we do not pay athletes to be smart. No, but we do pay our taxes so that people in general are smart. Or so it should be. I believe there was a study once that a better educated society is better for everybody. How's that working out for you? My kids go to private school. So. <laughs> Not very well. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. I think uh, America's falling down in general the education starts. Not that we're doing much better either. Saj. That's why I pulled my... My kids went to public school. I was quite adamant that they went to public school. But it did get to the point where it was no longer feasible. Sadly. Gordon knew what he was in for when he signed up. Where is the city? There must be a city here, right? I'm just sort of cruising the desert like a hero. I am enjoying the game. Yeah, yeah. It's not uh, It's not going to be one of the top top FFs by any means, but they've done a better job here with the story than they did in 3, I think. There's more twists and turns. Some obvious ones are coming, like Chadley. We know Chadley is the Dark Knight. Yeah, story-wise, it's very good. I think the dislike of FF2 comes from uh, the leveling system and this bizarre choice to cycle in the fourth party spot. You can never invest in these fourth party members. Like, it's a waste of time. Where's the city? I actually, yeah, the gameplay is, the only upsetting part of the gameplay is that they don't have a specific job, and I don't like that in an RPG. I like my barb to be a barb, my thief to be a thief, my ranger to be a ranger, my mage to be a mage, my cleric to be that, my red mage to be that way, machinist to be that way. And you can't do that here. Everybody's a jack of all trades. <laughs> and generally, it's either your melee uh, and a, ma a magic caster. It also, magic interference doesn't seem to really matter. It's just bet just as long as you have spells, it works. Uh... Yeah, I've basically made everybody a battle mage, is what I've done. Where is Palamacia? Okay, it must be in that gap. There's like the desert's equal on both sides, and there's a gap in the middle. That must be where Palmacy is. Looking at the map. Well, Magic and Spirits doesn't really seemingly do anything. It doesn't matter. No, I haven't, Sodi. I, I haven't had time. I'm leveling a character in PoE. Uh, I'm doing my uh, WoW Classic, uh, well, Season of Discovery stuff, and I'm having a lot of fun with that. I don't think, I, I think in a very real way I won't see Baldur's Gate 3 until I uh, have my laptop in my retirement home and then I'll play that for the rest of my life. How do I rank them so far? Um, I've been through this a few times, but 4 and 6 are my favourites, followed by 9 and 10 very equally. Um... And then it gets very messy. There's really strong points in all of them, and then some weak points in them. Like, it's probably FF7 at that point, realistically. 8 and 12 are about equal. Um, 1 is surprisingly strong for a short game. 1 is surprisingly good for a, uh, certainly the Pixel Remaster, which cleans up a lot of the errors. But 1 is actually a surprisingly fun playthrough. Um, and not very long either. Um, I've probably got three as the weakest so far. Twelve is around seven. 
12 is around there. 12 and 8 are pretty close to each other. Like, 12's main story is messy, but it has the, one of the best, if not the best, endgame of the FFs I've enjoyed so far. Like, it's endgame we played for longer than the actual main story. It's not here. Where is fucking Palamacia? 9 and 10 are about equal, just outside 4 and 6. 9 has a better story, but weaker gameplay. 10 has better gameplay, but a weaker story. So, take from that what you will. <laughs> okay, so Palamacy is not here. So... After what we saw yesterday, that is a shockingly valid ranking. Thank you. No, I don't consider 7 to be the top. I know people get annoyed by it. 7, for me, is... Uh, okay. Is there another desert? Hmm. I think I would have noticed a city by now with a Colosseum in it. FF7's strength to the genre, like its biggest thing, is the materia system. Like, that works so well in FF7. But considering the development and story that happens in, like, uh, even in, certainly in 6 and 9 and 10, I don't think it touches. Its endgame is one of the weakest. Like, you just have the weapon fights, generally speaking. But the materia system is the standout thing from 7. I'd say its world setting is very, very strong as well. But I think Cloud Story or Aerith or Tifa's, like, compared to, like, Vivi's, is not even close. And the six has such awesome moments. Even Like, every character has a time to shine. Like, whether it be the train or the brothers. The releasing of, like, the espers and all that is... Six is a phenomenally well done story for considering the time. Uh, I, I mean, I would really highly recommend everybody play six at some point. Four I love because its pacing is perfect. It's one of the most perfectly paced games I've ever played, and its story is rock solid. <sighs> oh, it's Blizzard, isn't it? Not Thunder. Uh... Gonna cycle through it doesn't matter. Um, where is Palamacia? I have to see if that other landmass in the southwest is a desert. I mean, the old man said the Palamacian Desert. It's not here, is it? God, the encounter rate when you try to find something. <laughs> The account rate is the worst. Oh, 
Why is the gameplay nine weaker? Uh, I mean, it heavily revolves around the trans system. The fact the trans system even made it out of development is baffling. Because it has no positives. I can kind of see what they were trying to do. But uh, the idea of like you kind of get more sure. powerful carried on the sturdy shoulders of Sersh Tyner the goat. I think I'm being blind. No way! There it is. I'll stop using thunder on these. Um, so how do we get in there? What an odd place to put it. I like that though. Like there seems to be a lot of people who base whichever their first FF was, that the next one should be similar because they maybe haven't explored the franchise, which is fine. You shouldn't expect everybody to explore all the games. Um, but I now I have a very, and I think all our audience certainly does, that every game tried something new. They were never satisfied. And sometimes they went too far. Uh, and it didn't work. But they were never afraid of, like, trying something new in any of the FF games. They, Every single one of them has something wildly different going on with it. Yeah, I think you need to be... I think the approach when, like, FF17 comes, the thought process should be... Uh, I played 16 as my first one. I expect that. But, like, I wonder what they're going to try this time. And it'd be very divisive, whatever it is. Like, FF12 is, like, let's try, like, having the players code the battles. I mean, they keep, they went right off, out of left field with that one. It's like, hey, we're going to let you guys essentially code the party to autoplay. Which will feel weird, but... Um, certainly on the longer battles timing all the conditions right and getting it all set up perfectly is going to be really fun. And it is. Uh, pixel game superiority. Uh, I don't know because I'm not sure how well um, I always forget the name. <sighs> uh, sequel just came out. It's basically the modern version of a pixel game. Fuck. No, not Octopath. Bravely Default. Yeah, Bravely Default. I'm not sure exactly how well Bravely Default has done. Uh, I, I, but it's something I want to play in the future. Alright. Alu! Am I going to have to fight in the Colosseum? I guess I am here. Evil person! Is that Chadley? May you fight well this day. To the victor goes Hilda, Princess of Finn. Ultras? Are we getting the old wiggly arms? Behemoth! Wide walking over. That is a wide walking behemoth. I love this music. Uh, right. Are you vulnerable to melee, fire, thunder? Fire's good. Melee's good. Okay. Moderate damage. Thunder? Not good. This is going to be a story behemoth. He's not going to be too hard. <laughs> Throw Gordon into his mouth to chew on. <laughs> I'm helping. Twenty months. If only I stopped when I started watching you in Kata. 
I don't for all the entertainment you and the team have providing through her all these years. And thank you, Venom. That's the so nice. Thing you did for me too, ha ha. Love you, man. Love you too, brother. Love you too. Normally fought. Now let us give you your just reward. This is your chance to slay the Emperor. Here is your reward. A reward befitting a rebel, my dude! Mod check. Roll a bit of show. Straight to jail. Rebel, straight to jail. A sturdy iron gate blocks the way. Oh! Lights out. <laughs> God, Paul is so cool. This is for rescuing me from the mines. I pay my debts. Now get out of here before they catch you. Thanks, Paul. Not gonna hang around and help? No, Paul? Alright. I guess not, eh? Alright, let me have a pee before uh, we go and... I think we're gonna have the ultimate showdown with Chadley. It's time to get Chadley. He's a Lannister. He always pays his debts. Back in a minute. We are coming to... This is our final day, I think, of supporting the British Heart Foundation, as was they asked us. But uh, it is a cause that we've been with for a while. Uh, and we have a treat for you coming up in the next month. So I'm just going to play this while I have a break. I'm back in a second. On the day of my cardiac arrest, truly all I remember was running down a football pitch and then just everything goes black. I believe the ability to perform CPR is a crucial thing that people should learn. I believe that the Reviver app is a really simple and easy way to learn CPR and a new skill that could potentially save someone's life is just incredible. Then we switch it. All right, hold it there, gents. All right, boys, great session. Okay, today there's a bit of a surprise for you, so it's not going to be your ordinary training session. <laughs> How you doing, man? How are you doing? Graham Sinesh. Hey, guys. How are you? I'm a, an ambassador for the British Heart Foundation. And at the age of 33, I was diagnosed with coronary artery disease, which led me to have a triple bypass operation. So I'm here to talk to you today about CPR. The British Heart Foundation have devised this course, Reviver. It's 15 minutes long that may save a life. Maybe one of you will perform CPR on someone and save a life. All you need is a pillow and a phone. Come on, let's do it, let's go. I'm going to tell you how to give basic life support. You're going to come across someone with heart issues in your life. I've never done it before, sorry. It's 15 minutes of your time. So if you get this palm onto it and force this back down. Good man. Yeah, More or less, a two a second. So you can use the patient breathing. No, they're not breathing. You got it. <laughs> well done. Well, did we learn anything? Yeah. Yes. When you go home and you have a quiet moment, please have a look at it. You may just save a life one day. In just 15 minutes, the length of a half time, you can learn the skill so important it could save someone's life. Before I go, every one of you is gonna have a pair of these shin pads. And on the back, it'll tell you how to do CPR. Thanks for your time, thanks for your patience.
I want Chadley's head on a plate. That's what I want. Chadley's head on a plate. Okay. Good. Uh... Alright. It would be a nice twist. Oh, we can go across this water. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> ah, the FF2 empty room. Glorious FF2 and its empty rooms. Nothing better than a good old empty room. There it is. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. This is for the later base building patch. Oh, I've missed a chest. Ether. Elixir. Well, that's 50 grand right there. And a cottage. Nice. Oh, Blaney. I'm so sorry. I kind of wished I was going back to New Zealand, Blaney. But uh, that's not happening. But uh... Sorry, pal. Oh, my. Hello. Nerd. We're all nerds. Everybody here is a nerd. My Alexa won't get you to like F13. I mean, we might need it. <laughs> Have you considered that we might need it? We're not nerds, we're just ugly fucking creatures. Is that what you're saying to me there? No, Dops. No, Dops, is that what you're saying? Hi, Liam. Oh, I can't wait to see you, Liam. I can't wait, brother. We're going to have such a good time. Me and you, Liam, cinnamon rolls for days, dude. We're going to be fat as fuck. All right, chat that one. All right. You're fat, Liam? I've never known you to be any fatter than uh, a wisp, Liam. <laughs> You've not been on the Guinness, have you? You've not plowed the Guinness hardcore. It can't be so. You've not been a big Guinnessy boy. Look at that, 116 months. And Liam is the one who actually uh, gave me the best steak I've had in this local environment. No, Liam did take me to the Guinness factory. The dad bod is happening. You've got to have a kid first, Liam. <laughs> you can't get the dad bod till then. That's when you develop the dad strength so you can carry your kids across the field when they're tired. Not dead? What? Oh. You've got a pug. <laughs> Why would you choose the ugliest of dogs? I don't get it. Pugs are the worst. Little snuffly, can't breathing fuckers. Well, you can get yourself a fine animal. Complete 50% of the bestiary. The world map has to be changing. It's got to be. Hilda! Hello. Hey, I'm not a pug fan. Just saying. In game or in real life. I refuse to have a dog as cute as I am. I don't know what dog I'm going to get next. I think I want a Bernese Mountain Dog. When the time comes to get another dog, I think I want a Bernese Mountain Dog. I'll be very happy with that. I think I want a Bernese Mountain Dog. Yeah, I've had one in the past. I had one when I was a kid, and it was just the best. It was just the best. I would be okay. With, I, I kind of want something bigger than Ben next time. I, I need uh, I need a beast. Yeah, they're so good. Uh, no, no, no. They don't live for eight years. Ours, ours uh, lives till 12, I think. I love big dogs. Like, not stupid big. You know, not one of those motherfuckers that's like a couch. But, uh, I like a big dog. I, I want two dogs next time. I want to get two together. 
that's that's what I want in the future. Is I want two dogs. I want a bigger one, and then one probably about Ben sized. I would never let chat choose the name of anything. Absolutely. I don't like huskies. I don't like their wolfish demeanor. I know they're lovely dogs, but I'm not a fan. I don't like wolfy, wolfy demeanor. Not a fan of the husky. Princess Hilda, hold on, we'll get you out of there. The door was unlocked. Hilda, are you all right? Gordon, I never thought to see you here because you're so fucking useless. Gordon, take the princess and go and leave our party forever. We'll draw the guards' attention while you escape. Thank you, my dude. Be careful. Two dogs is fine and fun, but what about an office cat? Meow. No, thank you. No. I can... And I hate saying this. I can see a cat in my future at some point. But... No. <laughs> Not in the near future. Let me put it that way. Not in the near future. No, not in the office. I think, like, uh, a cat is li liable when I'm, like, semi-retiring, streaming for fun. Uh, yeah. And uh, probably streaming from home somewhere. Oh, God. What are these? Uh, let's try melee. Melee works. Oh my guys, mel uh, physical damage has dropped off massively. Why are you shaming Dreed's pupper? I don't like pugs. If he likes it, that's fine. I'm not saying that he can't like it. I don't like it. My cat enjoys waking me up literally 15 minutes before my alarm and I just want to warn you to look forward to that as a future cat owner. <laughs> No, I'm not going the lethal frag route where he has an entire cat menagerie well, you know while he's gaming. You right, that that is. Have you guys seen what he does? Uh, I don't think he shows them anymore because he's kind of gone completely off camera. Uh, probably during the Hades days, a couple of years ago. Guacamole, thank you, offering. Hello, what's happening, everybody? Hope you're having a beautiful and amazing Friday. So very happy to be here for some of the 2000. God, that voice is so chill of Lethal Freds. Uh, yeah, this this entire cat playground that a Frag has. Yeah, it usually has it. Yeah, this. This, this is not my future. <laughs> While I'm gaming. This is not the future. This is what I think you guys think Office Cat would be like. But, uh, yeah, this is not my future. I kind of want one of those, uh, giant cats. You, you know what I did picture last night, Chris? What? We could build, like, in a different world. I'm not doing this, yeah. just to be clear. A tube system all over the office with a, an office rat that runs around it. You know, like them clear, the, them clear plastic tubes that the rats are around it. It could be everywhere and the office rat like runs around in it constantly. We could do that. <clears throat> no, I can do that. I'm not doing that. <laughs> There's a big difference between think the Jurassic Park Jeff Goldblum. You never stop to think if you should. <laughs> well, what's, your, what's your main obstacle? Office rat confirmed. I don't want a rat running around in the office. That's my primary off my primary obstacle to that idea, Chris, is I don't want a rat running around in my studio. Thank you very much. I don't like rats, and I don't want a rat anywhere near me. I think we could have, like, cameras set up. Yeah, I mean, it's a whole host of content of rat running around. But, yeah, it's uh, great. I, I don't... It's not, no. It's, great. Uh, it's a great idea. I'm fully on board with this no, idea. Not out. <laughs> I am designing the cat, the rat maze. 
Sub goal for office rat. Ooh, 10k. 10k and I'll do it. How's that? That sounds like a fair deal. 10k, you can have an office rat with a tube system uh, and all that. There you go. There, there's your deal. That sounds pretty fair. Why don't you, you, pay, you pay for my, you pay for my staff to be safely right. employed for the next six months. And we'll probably have an office rat. There you go. You hurt him, lads. Let's get it. <laughs> there you go. Wait, what are you guys bitching about me? What's up? What the fuck is going on? What is this? When Preach calls you ugly on stream. What? Oh, fuck you, Dreed. I appreciate you, Shiki. I do, but no. It's set, it's set as an unreachable goal intentionally. We all know that. Thank you very much, Shiki. Thank you. Hilda's now free, right? If it's 10k for office rat, can we get an office sheep at 5k? You see the way you guys are the worst with goalposts. See the way you guys are the worst. Challenge accepted. <laughs> office rat, let's go rat jam. Persona 5 was played, uh, it was a 5k sub goal, and we played Persona 5. I gave Persona 5 the attention Persona 5 deserved. There we go. Oh, Bobby and Sony, thank you so much. French fries, thank you so much. Thank you. Hey, you're almost there, guys. It's only 5.8k to go. You're almost there. So close. So close. I, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. This discounts any charity subathon or anything that we have in the future. I'm just fucking making that abundantly clear right now. It does not include any huge Black event that we on. run at some and point in the year. That is not experience. counting. That is not. That's not counting. That does not count under any circumstances. I'm just fucking before you try and technical or actually me in some way. Before that happens, I am not getting actually if we do some sort of mega event in the future. Alright. What's that about goalposts? Oh, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> what you were just saying. <laughs> Thank you all, Mr. Zorb. Thank you. <laughs> I haven't got Lala, -la. the goal wasn't met. I didn't hear a no for 5k office sheep. No. No, off what would you do with an office sheep? I've not agreed to anything. I've not agreed to anything at all, under any circumstances. I've agreed to nothing. An office duck. Yeah, I mean, at that you point, we... <laughs> Dreed, you can't just pop in after all this time, right? And actively contribute to try to make my life worse. <laughs> oh, I'm going to spank your ass. I'm gonna spike your ass. Will uh, the office rat be named Silky? You know, it's time to start convincing Lucy to look elsewhere. I believe that's that's the office sheep will be turned into office lamb chops. What is this? Azorian, uh, John. Stop! 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 I love you all, and we all appreciate it, but you're not getting 10k. It's not happening. Stop it. We are taking back the castle. Uh, 
I can't hear you, Chris. I all I can sit here is the fucking happy turtle. I'm muting you guys. So one what? interesting thing is you're not meant to keep them alone. So you probably need to get two. Um, <laughs> no, there's two rats. Well, yeah, because it's not fair to have one alone because they might get depressed. So I'm gonna suggest we get. We're not, one... not hitting ten thousand subs, Chris. Oh, no, we're not hitting 10,000 so, subs. So I think no. one we call Silky. I hate that I say things. And one is Gorai, so it's like the one from Mount Rock on. Are you fucking from... naming the rats at this point? Yeah. What are you doing? So we can get those two. So one's like the guitar playing rat, and one's the pom rat. Get out. Get out. <laughs> get out. You know what happens if some... You know what happens if one of these rats dies? Do you understand? It's bad, right? You understand that, Chris? It's like you eat it. Get more rats. Just a just a washing machine situation of rats coming in. No, 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 no. It was a joke. You know it was a joke. It was a joke. Thank you all. Thank you, Nasta, Scipio. Thank you. Thank you. <sighs> Yeah, now I have to come in every weekend to feed the rats and fucking... You know that... We were just joshing around, guys. We were joshing around. Thank you, Mel Sinerton. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you're all wonderful. Believe me, I'm not ungrateful by any means. But, like, let's not try and hit some unreachable goal. Okay? I don't want anybody getting angry. <sighs> My dude, Dipler, my guy, I owe you my life. It would appear you also deserve credit for destroying the dreadnought. Jam commit, peasant. I don't know how I can ever thank you enough. Uh... I have a black mask. Nothing happens. Um... Question. Oh my fucking god, Bex, stop! Keep it up, lads. Bex has found rats to adopt. Okay, how about 10,000 bits spent for an Awful. office happy turtle? Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. <sighs> Thank you, turtle. Thank you. Thank you. You're going to be the heart of our attack. While we hold the bulk of the Imperial forces at bay, you'll slip in and kill the Castellan. I'd quote we gifting subs for, okay. but this seems fun. <laughs> <laughs> Me and the team, thank you very, very much. Thank you, Phil. Thank you. <laughs> thank you all. You're all wonderful. I should never open my fucking mouth. <clears throat> I should never open my goddamn mouth. Lessons learned. On the one hand, though. On the other hand. Thank you so much. Thank you all. Your generosity is so welcome. And it helps me look after the team and everything. Thank you very much. I appreciate all of you very much. Genuinely. How many subs for two rats? Apparently 10k. Because as Chris has already started Googling, rats need company. <clears throat> would I actually do it? If you guys hit 10k, yeah, I would legitimately set up a rat maze and tunnel around and everything. Yes. I have no idea how it would work, but of course, yeah, like, that's... 
but it's a, it's not a reachable goal. And I don't want anybody trying. Really, it's a fantasy goal. Uh, can we go then? Do I just chat the city? I guess I just go to the city. <clears throat> uh, did we sleep? Yeah. Uh, okay. Do I just go and win? Cass. One day I'm going to meet you, Cass. And on that day, you shall be punished. You shall be punished. Thank you, Vimtos. Thank you. There's a mouse Would called call Michael. Final fantasy goal. We're in. The gate's down. Oh, oh my god, she's back! What did I say this morning about Helldivers? All you need is an, an enemy. You unite people under a banner of enemy. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, Killer Jedi. And a big love to you, Raven. Looking sharp, by the way, Raven, in those questionable videos I saw of you recently. Very questionable videos, but uh, looking trim, my dude. Looking very trim. I think uh, you're way ahead of me at the moment. Challenge accepted. <laughs> Baby. Thank you. Thank you, babe. You don't want to be hacking your way deep into the enemy territory without me. Oh, God, she's back. Rats eat smaller animals or insects, so they will keep your office insect free. I am not having rats running loose in this building. We have neighbors. No. They can have a very elaborate rat maze to be in. I think that's fair. Raven is awful at playing cards against humanity. I don't know. He contributed pretty well to that Jackbox games we were playing uh, a week or so ago. <laughs> Which definitely went off the rails real quick. Uh, I, I, it was rare to discover how many things are more fun than chemo. <laughs> Space Lid, welcome and thank you for the sub. Welcome, my friend. Welcome. Can you put programs on them? Chris is already thinking of some elaborate filming system. Hmm. This is one empty ass castle, although they did say that they were going to distract the guards. Uh, Layla's only alive because nothing's killed her yet. Thanks for your zero damage contribution, Layla. Always happy. <laughs> Always happy. I actually hate to think of Chris sitting and designing a camera system. I don't even know how it would work. Like... <laughs> a ludicrous amount of effort. Motion tracked cameras. You could have rat challenges where they have to find the food. <laughs> I would have to practically set up a second YouTube channel, a uh, Twitch channel, that is just the live stream of the rats. Ben K for office rat. This is a test.
Thank you, Senor Tostada. Thank you very much, Senor Tostada. Thank you very much. Thank you. Wonderful. Wait till Emma hears about this. Emma used to keep competition rats. Emma's actually got a bizarrely high knowledge of rats. <laughs> she used to have uh, competition level rats. Until one of them took a giant chunk of flesh out of her hand and nearly ripped a tendon out. And then she gave up on it. Emma is a rat old schooler. Yes. Fun rat fact. Rats laugh when they're tickled. I'm not tickling a rat. That's gross. That's disgusting. What's the lifespan of a rat? In fact, they live forever, don't they? Like fucking 60 years or some shit. Two years? To be fair... Is it worth the pain and anguish of the rats inevitably passing on as a community? Is that something you want to live through? Yes. <laughs> for office rat. Oh my god. They need to just get more. They're bis pets. How are they bis pets? What's bis about a rat? 10k for office rat. We're taking back the city. Let's focus on that. We eagerly await Magic the day mirror? you cry over your dead rats. And we take solace in knowing they would haunt your office forever. Rat jam. Uh oh, am I dead? <laughs> Layla just killed herself. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. The jammed, they are our comrades. <laughs> that's fantastic. That's so good. That's so good. Asriel and it's death rats. Thank you so much, guys. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I'm very concerned right now. Uh, a little bit. Uh, is it, um, okay. There we go. <clears throat> now, a ripple of imperfection mars the surface of this mirror. Black mask, nothing happens. Uh, pendant? Oh! <clears throat> oh! I need to see what Bex has put in Discord. The image of an egg shimmers in the mirror. Does that mean it's hatched? I have a game. Just get Gambian pouched rat. They live up to nine years and weight over one kilogram, growing about three feet long. You are the rat chiller. A single rat looking for love, you'll meet many rats and choose who to keep. Round after round, you find more. Am I diseased rat, elephant rat, swag rat, or ch fat rat? I'm fat rat. Egg salad, bear, hottie thespule. Bex, why do you find this? I don't understand. I don't understand. I was looking for a rat live stream. What? For ideas? Can we stop treating this as a real thing? Let's let's get out of this mindset. Let's collectively agree 
to get out of this mindset and move on. Okay, this is what got us killed in hardcore. Little off the cuff jokes, little little Year things. Of the rat boys, rat arrive. <laughs> we collectively have agreed. <laughs> The decision has been made. The council has come to a decision. Is that what you're saying? The council has come to a decision. <clears throat> well, thankfully, I wasn't that stupid and I set a goal high enough that it can't be reached. Cheers. <sighs> Cheers, all. Happiness is its own reward. And protection is a good thing. In all parts of life, be protected. <clears throat> An expert says rats remind me of pet dogs. Oh, don't, because I'm more thinking about a dog, uh, the dogs that I want in the future. I likes my dogs. I likes my dogs very much. Likes me, likes me a group of puppers, I do. Uh, they're magicians, so attack. Attack. <clears throat> oh, lightning, not good. Uh, I think we go all melee here. I, get, I think I get rid of the magicians first. Uh-oh. Okay, this is like an endgame dungeon. These have a lot of nasty debuffs. I don't think I have anything that clears stun, do I? I don't think Bed so. Endgame for office rat. Can we change that? I don't need to be reminded. Uh, I assume it's not a curse. No. Sorry, I'm busy. Immediately replies. <laughs> That's like zero pause reply. Sorry, I'm busy. <laughs> hey, Blackmore, thank you for the 10 gifties, man. Thank you so, so much. Welcome, new subs. And have no fears. We've got some really cool stuff coming up for our uh, subscribers in the next couple of months that you're not going to want to miss out on. So, bad I mind. We're working on stuff. There's a chest there, but no seemingly way you get to it. You walk through the wall. Big brain. <laughs> yeah, I like rats. Yeah, it's indeed. Ooh, there. Oh, with their little fucking pinky hands. <laughs> I don't know, what dogs. <laughs> I think I would have another collie. I just don't know if a Bernese and a collie go well together, because collies are so energetic, certainly when they're younger. And the birdies is such a big lumbering oafish creature. Hmm. I don't like Samoyeds either. I don't like dogs that have that wolfish appearance. I don't like that. Am I familiar with Piggy the Brain? I certainly am. I mean, Pirate Software is child for ferrets, which provides for their upkeep. <laughs> Coming of age, 21 months. Well, Ben was a collie, and uh, I'm used to Ben energy. I would be down with a golden retriever, for sure. But Bernie's are so cute when they're full grown. They're, they're just the biggest, snuggliest fucking heroes. Name the rats Pinky in the Brain. I would let the chat choose the name of rats. I'm not bothered about that. <clears throat> Chris has already named them in his mind. Ooh, there he is! There he is! He's about to rat jam on us. You don't need a pure breed, no. So why a Bernese uh, with the energy of a collie? Uh, 
I just, I loved my, for a potion. I killed all those monsters for a potion. All right. <laughs> nice one, game. Thanks, game. Yeah, devs still be trolling. Even at this point, they still be trolling. <clears throat> oh, Nups has joined in now. He's linking me videos. Why rats make good pets. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, mate. Appreciate that. <sighs> uh, this just looks like the throne room. So I guess the boss fight is coming. Let's heal up. Uh, let's use our potions. We have 99 of them. Jesus Christ, my guy has nearly 3,000 health. Zeppler at 1,500. It's time. We're fighting Chadley. There he is, sitting on his throne of lies. I see a Chadley. I see him. Oh no. Uh, that did no damage actually. Z Zeppelin took 500 damage there? What? Gotos. Rebels here. Where are my soldiers? A trap. Not Chadley. Oh, wow. Look at this guy. All right, let's try melee. Let's try fire. Let's try thunder. 217. Melee is much better. Eh, melee gang. I think our weapon's just extra effective against him. Probably with the giant's gloves on. Oh, the bow's working fine. Let's have you do that. Uh, you go fire and you melee. Looks good to me. Bye! We're definitely too powerful for the story, story bosses. But we haven't done any side quests. We're just really strong. You've defeated the enemy commander. I've not grinded anything. What the fuck are you talking about? We've done nothing but go for the story. What do you mean? Oh, it's so good to finally be back. This would never have been possible had we not worked together. I thank you all. <clears throat> okay. Oh, Minwoo left from Mycidia. Oh, we're going to Mycidia. But we've not heard from him since. It pays me to ask this of you so soon after winning back our castle. Would you go to Mycidia? Sure. Mycidia is a land of mages. Without the aid of their magic, defeating the emperor will not be easy. I've heard that a spell, sometimes referred to as Ultima, lies in the Mycidian Tower. Obtaining it requires two masks. Okay. I have one already. The white mask rests beneath this very castle. You must recite an incantation to open the door that leads below. The words Ekmet Toes will be the one. Okay. Forgive me, I'm afraid I don't know the door's location. Hmm. Okay. You never could have retaken Castle Finn without your help. Well, there is one problem. Minwoo still hasn't come back. Would you go to my city to find out what has happened to him? My city and tower is rumored to house the ultimate tome. A text containing the ultimate magic. Oh, uh, learn ultimate tome. I'm certain it would prove invaluable in the struggle against the emperor. Okay. With his majesty gone, no one knows this castle better than Hilda. If she doesn't know, Paul might, because he's a thieving little fuck. Okay. Uh, the masks. 
No idea. Okay. All right. So I already have the black mask. Uh, so we just need to talk to Paul about the white mask and we just get it, I guess. <laughs> Anybody see Paul around? Ooh, Paul. Any, any Paul is around? Are you Paul? It's rumored that a secret connected to my city town lies hidden beneath the castle. Yeah, where's Paul? I had her many ancient books there. Yeah, we know where my city of tower is. That Paul? How do I get to Paul? Okay, for office rat. Fox. Oh, fuck you, Tag. <laughs> fuck you, man. <laughs> no, don't do this. Don't do this. I'll get nervous, man. You'll make me nervous. I haven't been nervous for like 17 years and you're making me nervous. Don't do that. Thank you so much, Tag. Thank you. We must have to come out Your through this door. Your first mistake was setting a goal. And well, here we are. It's an unreachable goal. It's clearly an unreachable goal, okay? It was said in jest. I do not want to have the stress of having to figure out a fucking rat maze that's visible on stream. 10k for office rat. You're making me upset. <laughs> okay. Chris is literally pissing himself in there. <sighs> Thank you so much, Tag. Thank you. Thank you, Tag. It's like a thousand dollars, Tag. Let's, let's, let's. let's 10k all... for office rat. One King James summon? No. 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 Absolutely not. No. No. No, thank you. This isn't a, a fucking fishing expedition. No, thank you. We do not need the rise of chaos. Chaos has no place here. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. I just don't want anybody to feel bad that they didn't get it after contributing so much of their money. I don't want that. That bothers me more. Have faith. It will never ever go to waste here. You guys know that. I don't know how to get where I need to go. There's the mirror. Can I show the mirror the black mask now? No. Uh... The money is for you. The rats are a bonus. Yeah, yeah. Never be under the illusion. It's not like uh, it's wasted in any shape or form. I can only imagine what our Twitch channel manager thinks. <laughs> he has so many concerns. He's like, I don't, I don't know what goes on on your channel. Well, you see, there was this rat situation that developed, right? <laughs> I try and explain it, and he's like, right. <laughs> they, they, they come to us sometimes for, like, tips for other channels. Like, you know, like, the bits thing. It's like, so, what are you guys doing with bits that maybe we can let other channels know is maybe a good incentive for bits. I'm like, right, so <clears throat> how much abuse are you willing to take uh, without getting actually upset? And that varies person to person. That really cheers. <clears throat> Do you, can you attract an audience of absolute smart asses? That's, that's a part of the deal as well. How do I get there? 
All you have to do is to say something very stupid. There's a chest there as well. How do you get there? Motherfucker. This fucking game, man. Uh, no, if, what happens with gifted subs, uh, I don't think we've ever got it so the chat is entirely subscribed Please, regardless, no but it, it chooses from our followers. There's, uh, one thing that has been really great, and we had to try and explain to our church channel manager, is like, you have a lot more subs than, like, the average viewers. It's like, yeah, it's because we stream variety, and some people are like, oh, they're playing FF2 or whatever. I'm not super interested in that, but they're totally fine with what we're doing next, and they still catch up on VODs and stuff. And we get a lot of VOD watchers, because we do not stream. Uh, one of our strengths, but also seems like a weakness, is we don't stream at anywhere near optimal time for anyone outside of really Australia. So we have a huge amount of VOD watchers. And we're like primarily USA and things like that. So a lot of them are subscribers as well. Our, our t yeah, we're, we're kind of peak for just Australia, which on the global market, no, no disrespect to Australia, obviously, uh, is not ideal for Twitch live viewership. But um, yeah, it catches up a lot. And we do give big love to our VOD watchers. We know you're there. We pay attention to those stats quite a lot. Uh, I don't know how I do what I'm trying to do. This castle is not that complicated, and I can't find how we get where to go. Up here is just chests, right? Yeah. We must have to access this from the town, like a sewer system or something. That's what I'm or thinking. Or you have a lot of us, which is people in the UK that are watching while pretending to work. Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah. But, like, as you can imagine, not everybody can watch Twitch while at work. Uh, <laughs> for sure. We are aware of that as well. I'm being general, not nailing down specifics. But, yeah. There's not, not, not a lot of people can watch at work. I do, Rajam. <laughs> Finn is ours again, at least. The standard of the wild rose flies high over Finn once more. Being able to live here is like a dream. We never could have got it without you. Yeah, we killed the big boss. Uh, okay, uh, we can actually go to these shops for the first time. Are these the advanced spells? They should be, because these were blocked by guards previously. Hi, Vivi. Dispel, mini, fog, and slow. Uh, removes. Okay, dispel is always worth. Let's get three of those. Yeah, I don't really care about debuffing characters in this game. We have 400,000 gold. When did that happen? <laughs> when did this happen? I have no idea. Irvish, thank you for the gifted sub to Zero Slayer, the offline chat spam extraordinaire. And harassing me during meetings. I have not grinded anything. Stop saying that. You guys always say that. We haven't ground grinded at all. I'll tell you what I'm going to do, because I'm a rich bitch. I'm going to kit the fuck out of Layla. You can have a flame bow. Uh, we haven't had a knife upgrade in ages. Uh... Oh, no, I'm keeping her like that. You, you use knives. Yeah, you use Contributing knives. Contributing to the rat jam cause. Radar. Oh, we should probably get a... Uh... Fuck. Uh... Here, have stuff. <clears throat> you can have gold armor. And you're okay with your helm. There you go. I will res her. Uh, but if she dies, she dies. With Dolph Lunger and the crap out of her. A level 7 hype train, you rat bastards. <sighs> Put the flame on his stiff, cold hands. <laughs> we don't need anything. We have all this money and we just don't need anything. 
It's weird. It's super weird. Alright, she Layla returns! Layla returns! <laughs> got the gay bee. <laughs> a rat train. There you go. Layla's back. There she is. 10k for office rat. Oh, Juriel. Thank you so much, Juriel. Thank you, my friend. Thank you very much. Hey, Saucy Jake. What's happening, player? Uh, yes, we'll be doing fat cat surgery in a little while. Fat cat surgery Hello will there. be taking place today. Hello. Hello, hello. Hello. Uh, we don't need any consumables either. How do we get to this place in the castle? Oh, Boris. Don't don't encourage. Don't encourage, Boris. You're worse than Targ. Uh, the mouse pad is being delivered here soon. And we'll get to see it. The ben mouse pad uh, has been ordered. It is on its way. We will have the mouse pad in my hands very soon. Okay, guys, how do we get there? How do we do this? How do we get to where he is on the right, that door? How do we do it? Is there a secret passageway? So, Starter, it's a rat pad, it's not. I don't know what Emma's reaction would Can be as an actual of fan of rats. No! No. It's so high, because even if you did hit it, it's an active disruption to my whole life that I'd have to now manage. You understand that, right? How do I get to this place? We're very well aware, yes. <laughs> we understand. Okay, good. As long as we're all on the same page. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're not children. We totally know what's involved. <laughs> it's got to be up here. This is really bugging me. Get an office rat. Squeak. Get right, an office rat. Right, to get rat. into that tunnel, Squeak. it's a secret get entrance. Get an office rat. Squeak. But this does not have steps that lead where we need it to lead. This is not the way. And this doesn't take us anywhere else. Right, there's no secret entrance here. Okay. We'll, we'll have to use process of elimination here to figure out how the hell we get into the... It, oh, it, it's, I bet it's obvious. They want you to find this. If you go around here, it doesn't do anything. There is another secret tunnel here. But that only takes you to this extra chest and doesn't give anything else. Okay. So... We have to go to the next floor. There's no way out of here, right? Right, we need to get in there. That top right area. We need to get in there. How do we get in there? How do we do it? Oh, give me a clue, Hilda. If you only had a rat to show you the way. So it lies beneath the castle. You must recite an incantation that opens the door that leads below. Right. So, but I, do I need to get to something that's going to ask me to interact with it? No, I can't find Paul. But Paul also is the same model as everything else besides his stupid bowl haircut. 
I need a door or something that I can have a dialogue with or... Paul's not in the town either, from what I can tell. This is pissing me off. It's there we need to get to. So it comes up, it looks like, from... Is there a new pathway from where the mirror is? Is that how you get there? Hello, hello, your future office rat's calling. We love you, Daddy. Rat Jam, rise up. This just leads to three chests. Yeah, this is not the place we need to be. Yeah, this isn't it. Um, I don't know where... We don't know where Paul's house is. Okay, let's... Let's... Get out of here. There's nowhere else for me to explore. What? Hang on. What if I say the words to the mirror? Is the mirror the door? I doubt it, but let's try. No. We can't talk to the mirror. All we can do is the pendant which shows us the egg. Hmm. I wonder if this is just to check whether the egg is hatched yet. Maybe it's that. And there's nothing else in this room besides the magic mirror. Ratto M8 M8 M8. Do you even consider a rat M8 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 Ratto? I don't think about rats. Rats are not part of my lexicon. There's nowhere else to go in this castle, right? That, I, that is standing out to anyone? Yeah, the mirror's at the top of these stairs. Yeah, we know that. None of you are Paul, right? And really, a secret connected to my cell lies hidden beneath the castle. Yes. If it's we hit just 11, there. 000, can we get two rats and a fax machine? Sounds like a great sitcom. All we need to do is to get to there. It's right there. How the fuck do you get in there? Let's talk about rats. Baby, let's talk about you and me. Let's talk about all the good things and the bad things that maybe let's talk about rats. Let's talk about rats. Let's talk about rats. Let's talk no, about rats. That's not. That's not. This is killing me. Uh, okay, we have to go and find Paul somewhere. <clears throat> you can't come in from the other side. That's why I thought maybe we access it via a sewer or something like that. Fit is ours again. Yeah, we could live here again. Have you been to Paul's house yet? Okay, so it's the Paul's house is here. Alright, we've got a clue. Excellent. Which one's Paul's house? Is this one in the bottom left? Maybe. Alright, Proggers. We're good. We're good. <clears throat> Paul? There he is. My dude, you old devil. How have you been? Doesn't know about the mask. What about this? If you need to know about the secret doors in Castle Finn, I'm your man. I don't suppose you can tell me what's inside this secret chamber. Just curious. A white mask. Hmm. That doesn't sound particularly valuable. Nope, not interested. So I guess I'll tell you where the door is. Look in the far corner of the audience chamber. To the I checked there! Uh, you absolute fucking piss master. I literally went there specifically. I did. I did go there. Yeah, now you can interact with it because before, no, you couldn't. Rat facts. Like humans, 
Rats go through multiple stages of sleep. Rats experience slow wave sleep to REM sleep and even of dreams when they're asleep. This has been a rat fact. Thank you. I imagine Clog is wetting himself with happiness right now that rat facts are happening. We've got, we're on our way. Now we've found it. We're good. There's a fucking guard down here though, which is really annoying. Like, excellent. Uh, all right, we're on our way. Let's get the white mask. Now we're cooking. This is your time, Layla. Rise up. I've given you a big bow to attack with. Miss. All right. I'll even put you in the back row, Layla. There you go. There you go, Layla. You're now, you're now part of the team. You've got one of the most overpowered weapons in the game. Eye drops, good. Uh, two ways out of here. She has 400 HP, and unfortunately, I can't really do anything about that. She did some damage, though. I'm not power leveling her. I've just given her the tools to join in. That's fine. You found clothes. Awesome. Beat her up. <laughs> Have you tried just beating her up? <laughs> One thing I'm going to do over the weekend is I'm going to check through all your Steam profiles and find out how many hours you've put into Helldivers since launch. And then I'm going to have a ranking system. I'm going to have a ranking system on Monday to find out how many hours it's sunk. I dare check Chris's. It's either zero or a lot. I don't think there's any middle ground whatsoever. It's either going to be zero or a lot. On Monday, you'll be building a rat tube maze. Oh, Jesus. My poor studio. Do the rats have the option of traveling into the other rooms? Does it go all... The so no, because we won't be able to close the door. Drill the walls out for the rats. <laughs> okay. Most logical thing today is like start drilling holes for the rats. I'm genuinely thinking. Fucking hell, Chris. <laughs> Who's going to clean out these rat tubes? Because they're going to shit in them. Have you considered that, Chris? Have you thought about who's cleaning them up? It is a good point, isn't it? Has anybody given any considerations of the practicalities of what you're suggesting? You're thinking of like a two mile long elaborate tube system with cameras in it and all sorts of shit. But has there been any thoughts to who has to clean this? Probably on a weekly basis, I would imagine, because it'll be filled with rat shit. Okay, so I think An air pressure system. So you want to... I'm pretty sure it also needs to be sterilized and washed because the rat comes out moist and will leave trace shit in there. It's a solvable problem. For me, apparently. Rats will clean it. The rats will clean up after themselves, will they? Is that what's going to happen? That's what's going to happen. The rats are going to clean up after themselves. <laughs> Oh, Silky. Okay, we're basing this on Silky, the fictional pixelated rat. I mean, I think it's pretty accurate. <laughs> oh, I'm sure Silky is very accurate. Often rats are throwing their palms in the air and firing off frost mechanics and lightning and all sorts of shit. Yeah, very should, accurate, actually. We a rat with a pom, or we can give the rat a pom. Give the rat a pom. Yeah, so now we're gluing yeah, things to the rats, are we? Okay, seems fine. <clears throat> Yeah, yeah, it all seems very reasonable. <laughs> Need frog out the rat. <laughs> Finally talking like a rat owner. No one ever considers the practicalities of things. Ever. 
It's never considered. It's just the elaborate route. Why am I nearly dead? What the hell? You could teach rats tricks. Maybe teach them to clean. Hmm. I'm glad you're all thinking Are you saying Yoshi in the proper amount of dimensions. About the nature of rats. That's a treasonous statement, mate. Just making sure that there's due consideration here. So this isn't going to be like the end of the witches, where there's like a train that the rats can ride. Right? They get on the little train. It's got a little swing set. We have considered it, Mike, that why we're having you get the rats. Yeah, every Monday we start the stream with cleaning out the whole rat highway. It takes three hours. One rat becomes two rats, becomes three rats, and soon we'll have Rat Kingdom in the office. <laughs> Poggers. <laughs> Pockets. That sounds really good. That sounds so fun. Absolutely excellent. Oh, I have to drama on a Friday. Oh, cool. So on a Friday, after I finish drama, I can hang around for another couple of hours cleaning up rat shit. Thank you. Thank you for these problem-solving techniques that you're coming up with. Thank you so much. I am so thankful that you're all here to help out. I see no downside. <laughs> Game's boring. Rat poop cleaning. Every week, amazing. Yeah, it sounds splendid, doesn't it? Sounds, sounds splendid. I'm glad we're all getting to the uh, reason. I think, I think reality is dawning on me, and this makes me happy. This makes me very happy. Yeah, and then we can look at the amount of rat shit, and then we can weigh it, and then we can have we a can log. We can give it a segment name for gaming content, Rat Shit and Clank. <laughs> the immediate reply to that was king shit, really. <laughs> Use it as fertilizer. Excellent, excellent. Excellent. Can we put them in cosplay? Oh, they wear little outfits now. Okay, okay, I see. I see. I, uh, yeah. Bits for shits. <laughs> I tell you what we could do. We could have special guest visitors from the audience. Every week, one of you can visit our studio, have a guided tour, and clean up after the rats. You so fervently encouraged to be here. Doesn't that sound wonderful? King shit is what the rats will produce, <laughs> not cringe. <laughs> no cringe. Hey, you can come all the way here, and I'll sit and play games, and you can clean up my rat's crap. As a special bonus, I'll market it. Like some sort of dumb sub relationship. Maybe if you call it something other than rat shit, it would make you feel better about oh, it. Oh, like fun pebbles? <laughs> I'll call them fun pebbles. And a Greg sausage roll. I think you are just afraid of forming an emotional attachment to something you now believe is your mortal enemy. Oh, I would get emotionally attached. Of that, I actually have no doubts whatsoever. But, uh... Yeah, the, the, the reality of the situation is an annoyance. What the hell? Hello. Where'd you guys come from? Okay, these are physically resistant. Noted. Ah, they don't know me. Surely if you settle the tunnels at incline, the shit will roll out. Explain to me the geometry of all tunnels being at an incline. And not gathering in these weird spots. Doesn't that just create a lot of shit pockets? <laughs> Could chap name the rat? You can absolutely name the rat, sure. I'm sure there's math for it. Yeah, yeah. So there's just these like junctions of collected rat shit. 
And as we all know, because I imagine one or two of us here have been to the toilet before, all rat comes out, all shit comes out perfectly smooth and in no way sticks to anything. And therefore, they will all come out and just gently roll down the hill as if we're all playing Marble Madness into a nice collection pot. Yep, good. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. <clears throat> what you do then, of course, is you get some sort of dung beetle system working who go and collect all the shit and roll it up for you and create a nice uh, situation. <laughs> office beetle. <laughs> Tony the office dung beetle. He just wanders around collecting rat shit so all day. How many subs for office dung beetle? Oh, we are really racking up the chest here. We've gone from 10% to 50% really quickly. Uh, let's just use this because we've got a spare one sat right here. It's not empty. Oh, fuck you, game. Cool, another empty door. Uh, I Actually, this discussion has made me lose track of what we've investigated and what we haven't. Uh... I could teach the rats to crush cans. I've already solved that issue with no ill effects. Sorted. <laughs> if Emma can have a horse, I don't think it's such a big deal for us to have a rat. Thanks, monsters. Who needs high potions with friends like these? <laughs> yeah, horse, rats, same thing. Let's check with the boss. She might be with the sky man. Hello. Hey, you okay? You okay? Yeah, I'm on stream. Um, they, uh, the guys have set a ten thousand sub goal to get office rats. You know, with like a maze and stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. No, that's not the response I'm looking for. Will you explain the impracticality of having to maintain care for two rats on a regular basis? Right, I'll talk to you later. Bye. If they Never mind that. Never mind that. <laughs> Ignore that. That was that did not go as planned. I fucking. I, sometimes I feel the entire world is against me. Honestly, I swear to God. I. Uh, I, I feel. I feel like the. Uh, I just feel like I've done something wrong somewhere. <laughs> no, that did not work out like I hoped. No, no. I was hoping that because Emma has been viciously attacked by a rat in the past, that she'd be like, absolutely not. We're not going down that road again. Was Why do I have no mana? Get fucked. Sincerely, the rat. Wait, what? Where's all my mana gone? Care for rats resolved. Set goal to 5k. Let's go. No. No. 10k for office rat. No. no. <laughs> Sounds like it's no big deal. Oh, thank you, Kilted Jedi. Thank you so much. It sounds Thank you. like it is no big deal. I guess we should lower the goal to match the difficulty of owning them. <laughs> no. Goalposts remain where goalposts belong. <laughs> I don't expect what I think this is. 
I'm no expert, uh, I mean, but I think it's... starting with 10k rats is a bit We're moving on. We're moving on. We're moving on. Absolutely nothing about the last hour has worked in my favor, so we're just going to move on. Uh, and, yeah. Excellent. Let's, uh, so anyway, uh, fat cat surgery is uh, coming up. Uh, we've got, I'm going to do a probably really awful job. Fat cat's going to be mutilated and angry. That's going to be a thing. That's going to be happening later. And we've got a special FF11 uh, episode of Drama Time coming up too. Those are happening. Uh, it's that's all going on. Uh, that isn't that cool. That's great. That's just today. That's just in the next few hours. That's going to happen. Yeah. <clears throat> So I was thinking about it yesterday, and I really, really hate. We could get a uh, hamburgers. Um, I, it just dawned on me that I didn't bring this up yesterday, but I think hamburgers are terrible, and anybody who eats hamburgers is just a bad person. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Fat cat, drama, all good. But let's go on about these rats. Uh, and uh, I also hate all cereal. I hate all cereal as well. That's bad. Uh, I rate that D tier. Uh, D tier. <laughs> this is D tier. <laughs> all D tier. <laughs> okay, butter boy. <laughs> butter boy is really offensive. Yeah. Sure, whatever. That all sounds good. But what about the rat toes? <laughs> Mr. Quaker Oats. I do have Quaker Oats, actually. I have rolled oats. I have rolled oats. Never be... Never... All focus. This distraction test is quite pathetic. No, no, no. Also, Helldivers 2 is I'm a really shit game. And uh, also, going to be great. I played Diablo 4 over the weekend. It's actually really good. Uh, so I bought the horse armor. And um, I'm enjoying it a lot. Genuinely. Oh, we need to go down. Oh, no, no. There's another way out of here, though, right? Uh, yeah, we checked the top right one. Generally, I'm kind of lost. Uh -huh. No, oh, Diablo 4 is pretty good. Um, our next week's stream is uh, a surprise, actually. We've, uh, I've got a really good one. Uh, we're playing Suicide Squad. Uh, here's the Justice League uh, next week. So we should get pretty excited about that as well. Uh, so make sure you tune in. <laughs> <laughs> Not only it's are we really good. on the rat topic, we can also clip this poor fool out of context for pure content. <laughs> How about more, pure, more Ratopia? I'm actually pretty invested in... Um, I think we've got 100% actually Suicide Squad. Uh, I've been told that the, it, the journey is so worth it that we need to go on that road. So it's got to be pretty good. Okay, I'm lost. I'm so lost. I am lost. And you've got me all uh, fucking all over the place. I don't know where I am anymore, and I'm lost. Right, okay. I need to be methodical. I don't know where we are. Even the game uh, is giving you rats. You can't escape this. I can. Uh, there's nothing else this way, is there? No. Right, so it... And the middle one is how we got... There's, that's how we got in here. Like, I'm focusing now. I'm focused. I'm laser focused on our objective. We need to go. The only thing that might distract down us further. from the rats for a few seconds is some managed democracy with hell divers. Uh, not right now. Right now, all I care about is getting out of this. I find Scarlett Johansson unattractive. I was thinking about what that guy said about maybe there's no space and no planets. 
You could ask your I think I agree with him. Escape the maze. Oh wait, you have no rats. Good luck then, clown. Also, uh, I, I kind of hope in Dawn Trail that they uh, kill off most of the characters uh, to start fresh. I don't think they even need to give a reason, really. They could just do it, and that would be fine. Based. <laughs> Garjo Fugly, noted. Do you think we will get male or female rats? Using my bits to tell you there has been another incident with a Boeing plane. A 777 taking off in San Francisco lost a wheel and they had to close KSFO for 20 minutes. Why are you telling sure me this? I'm going on a plane clear. to LA plane for like a week. Without issues at LAX. I'm at LA. I'm going to be in LAX next Saturday. Don't tell me that. I don't want to know that. I'm literally flying to LAX next Saturday morning. The fuck? <laughs> Plane crash, by the way. Right, I see where we're going. Okay. I'm on it now. I know where we're going. I'm focused. To be fair, I do not worry at all about air travel. Like, the amount of crashes versus literally the amount of planes flying every day is... It's easily, easily if the safest way to travel, if not, like, very close to. I've been on a fucking 100 737. It's the fine. Well, there's, there's the one where the door comes. It doesn't keep coming off. It's happened a few times. It's like it keeps coming off. Like, yeah, every plane they take off, the door just flies off every single fucking time. It's happened enough times to be safe. That's like s probably 10,000 plus 737s flying every fucking day. It doesn't keep coming off. It's like when everyone said it, all the Samsung phones were exploding. No. no. Actually, it was kind of true. No, some of them did. Likes in certain Mike conditions. Crash. Cool, cool. Do we think the rats will like... It Chris shouldn't happen. Door? I'm not disagreeing with you. The door should not come off the plane. But let's not pretend like it's all the doors are landing. Like, we can't walk the streets because there's fucking doors landing everywhere. That's not what's happening. Uh, take it from me. No issues are a thing. Uh, I, I... Take it from me, who's been on a plane twice. You know what? Also, on a plane, it's like phones. Because I work for a for something. And how many LG phones are blowing up on a daily basis? Like, exploding and bursting into flame. Well, not exploding. No. But they did have issues that were across the board. Well, of course they had issues. But it could just as easily be an exploding phone. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. Phone has issues equal to not equal to phone exploding. Same thing. When you think about it. Don't buy into the hype, people. Fight the power. There's no. Sp He's trying to distract us from the fact there's no space on planets. I know what you're doing, Chris. Yeah. I know what you're doing. You're trying to trick us. He's trying to dis distract us all. It's doors falling out the sky constantly. It's like fucking fallout outside. Yeah. Uh, oh, it's it's completely fine. All these things to try and get out of the 10k office rat hole, but all he's doing is making the hole wider. <sighs> Stop making any hole wider, right? We should all be making a concerted Here's effort a to keep fact. the holes the, the same right size. The flew their flyer a total of four times. On the fourth flight, will the right circle What are you saying now? I'm flying on Saturday. Please tell me more about plane disasters. Sure. Meters. That flight lasted 59 seconds. Not only that, I have no idea who's looking that deeply into the plane be trained war. Using positive well, reward based well, who's keeping up with plane like war? To their own names, the give high fives, fetch a ball and roll over. <laughs> Nobody does. Well, I'm not saying nobody. There's always somebody. Before somebody actually is me. <laughs> what are you talking about? What is this? Plane tier list? Why are you watching videos on plane facts? Uh, I just watch stuff. Okay. Um, I just watch stuff. It was about the great engineering of the 787. It was, it was very interesting. <laughs> Okay. I'll the check it out. I learned all about the aspect ratio. You learned about the aspect ratio. Of plane wings. Of plane wings. It's very smart. Like okay. The, the carbon composite is very, very close. Well, next time we're on the play, Chris, I'll be sure to get you sent to the captain so you can have a chat with him about it. Are you going to explain to me on the play? Well, yes. yeah, I do struggle to sleep on planes. That's how I'm so I'll. Myself, I'm just tell you about the In other news, though, I've found where we need to be. So. 
The lack of rats actually did help us focus and we went exactly where we needed to be. We did well. Thank you, Treble, for your valuable contribution to the plane situation. I am going to sit on a very big plane in a very comfortable chair for, I don't know, the nine hours. And, uh, ooh, what game Daddy, am I going to play Daddy, on the plane? Are you sure you want to board plane Chan next week, you will? I, would, I don't know who I'm flying with. I, I know it's not Emirates. I think it might be Virgin Atlantic. The door plugs are the problem. Right, right. Noted. I'll try and look for a door that's not a door. I'll take special attention. Actually, I'm in the cringe category of people who visibly look like I can open the door, Chris. And so regularly on planes, I get asked to sit next to the door. So in an emergency, I can open the door. So... Rat CPR. I am highly likely to be next to a door, I'm just saying. Does Petrify wear off? Hmm. Uh, I played most of the Zelda games, except Tears of the Kingdom. Uh, I might play some more Frostpunk. Frostpunk 2's on its way. I had a really good time playing Frostpunk. Oh no, I might play Terraria. Uh, Terraria was really fun. Ooh, Oracle. Mm. Mm. Hi, my kid. Is the rat here? We can either have some fun playing facts or an office rat. According to an experienced pilot, landings are nothing more than controlled crashes. Noted. 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 No, I have absolutely no fear of flying. I've never had a fear of flying. But I, I was flying since I was a kid, so it's. Uh... If a door melts under pressure, is it adorable? Six doors. What do we think? One, two, three, four, five, or six. Hmm. I'm going with door number four. I'm thinking four. Empty. We have to check them all anyway, because it might be Excalibur. <laughs> There's no getting away from us checking. Yeah. Uh, you see the New York subway rat? No, Carl. I'm not keeping up with subway rats in any way. No. No, I'm not keeping up with Subway Rats. But thanks. Thanks, I appreciate that. Rats Thank are you. famous for being able to chew through almost anything. Concrete, wood, plastic, aluminium, cinder blocks. So we can't even build them a tube system. Noted, because they'll chew this through has it. Been a rat fact. Okay, so noted. We can't even uh, we can't even build a, a plastic tube system. Interesting. Oh, it's not okay. Door number four empty. Rat fact: France flew their first rat, Hector, into space on the twenty-second of February, nineteen sixty-one. Two more rats were flown. Oh, thank in you, Carl. Appreciate that, mate. Yeah. I'll, 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 anyway, be, I'll be looking at it tonight. Talk about promise. Rats. In fact, I'm going to cancel date night so I can check on some rat facts. Door number five was the winner, seemingly. Let's check what door number six is. Empty. Door number five. Anybody have door number five? Door number five. Door number five is your winner today. <clears throat> what, Chris? We can have a, a fancy rat cage for what? For the web show, sir. Like, so it's like a, a holiday for them, essentially. Yeah, right, I see. Okay. So now there's two rat enclosures in the office. Okay. Noted. Just keeping track of how this escalates over time. <clears throat> Everyone keeping up with the numbers? Uh, you should express interest in Emma by talking about rats with her on the date. I'm going to have to explain this to her now. That's that's the situation. I just have to sneak into Chris's office and cancel the goal before it becomes a thing. Oh, I think you'd have to get rescue rats, right? So they've got a shorter lifespan. You can't go get to like rat breeders.
No, I don't mean because they've got a shorter lifespan. What I mean is, um, so you're helping. Unhomed rats. Oh! We got it. Excellent. That was easy. <laughs> There's no boss here? What? This dungeon has no boss. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, we have the masks. Uh, so now we go to the tower. Perfect. Wait, if you get 10 rats, they could cook you dinner so you never get fast food ever again. I had fast food last night. I've actually... I've sadly strayed from my diet in the last three days. I have had pizza twice this week, and it's uh, grim. And I've got ribs tonight, so we're, we're hardcore next week. Not good. You can stray very easily. Very easily. Uh, oh, God. How do we get the ship? Okay, we have to go that way. Uh, no, that doesn't work. We need to go this way. <laughs> it's Jolva. Yeah, the diet has taken a calamity. Thankfully, my workouts haven't. They've been good. I went for a workout this morning. But uh, the diet is the more important thing. You're not working off a pizza. It's not happening unless you're like a fucking Olymp Olympian or some shit. That ain't gonna happen. Afternoon, Lamin. How you doing? As a great man once said, constant vigilant. Yeah, I gotta be vigilant. We're not there yet. I'm never hopefully gonna be in a double pizza a week situation. That's, uh... No, oh, it was bad. It was all our convenience because I didn't leave here till half seven last night. And uh, the other, uh, the night the other night I didn't get I had the uh, Emma with the horse situation going on. It was not Pizza Hut. It was from a local place because Emma hadn't eaten either. I got back in the house at like rats are known to be very intelligent rodents. Eight, eight, can eight learn ten past eight, something quickly. like that. A good example. I just could not be asked. In cooking. 1999, when Rat Taker threw Mike of Hell in a cell and plummeted 16 feet through an announcer's table. I hate that that's become a, a meme. That that war should not be a meme. Uh, the horse is on the mend. Uh, stitched up and doing work. So, not broken leg, which is great. Yeah, it is... Uh, not dead. That is good news. Yeah, yeah, very good news. My son was really upset when he found out. This won't be able to be ridden for a while. Okay. The magic tower. Here we are. Ghosts. Uh oh. Uh, I should have used fire, shouldn't I? Uh, we should have slept before we start this tower. This is going to be a full endgame tower, isn't it? Oh god, they're not dead. Oh, these hurt. Holy shit. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! These hit for a thousand? What the fuck are these things? Curse 8. What does that... Oh, no. What does the curse do? I can cure curse with cross. I think we should go shopping. If these are the enemies that are inside, we're probably going to need these. Uh, let's see if it runs out after this. I don't know what curse does. It'll kill me next turn, maybe? They're nearly dead. Yeah, let's let's go shopping. Let's buy a lot more crosses and stuff. Refresh all our mana. Yeah, uh, we're near. Uh, yeah, we're near altar. That's fine. Okay. 
get out of here. Not good. <clears throat> Not good at all. Yeah, that this is nasty. A curse persists as well. Let's have a sleep and get a load of resources in before we tackle this tower. Because we should have Ultima coming out of this. Is Ultima going to need leveling up? Very well might do. Uh, Ethers, Spy, another... I don't know if we'll need elixirs, but let's get them. Okay, hopefully we're not going to need money <laughs> in the future. <laughs> Fingers crossed, we're not going to need any money. We're well stocked. Well, I just hope we don't have some really cool... We could sell a bunch of our armor. We've got a load of it. Gear has been such an irrelevant part of the game, which is kind of sad. It's only really dawning on me now. Gear has sucked. Helldivers! Yeah, Excalibur is like exactly like half a million or something. I have both the masks. Don't tell me I have to ask Hilda as she says, now use the masks. Right? There's no way that's the case. Have we decided what kind of rats we will no, get? No! We've moved Top on! Rats, Top bants, really fun. Rats, Rex rats, rat gem rats. No, we've moved on. Take the white mask with you to my sedia. The mage is there, I should know more about its purpose. Okay, um, the advice was silent in the other attaching his next plot is going to speak. You must find the ultimate song. So, <clears throat> I can only assume then that even though that is the tower, and these guys keep telling us to go to the tower and get the books out of the tower, we're not going to the tower. That's Mycidia Tower, but Mycidia is somewhere else. So it's probably the landmass to the southwest Love that we've that not really been to yet. you'll have rats. <sighs> Yeah, very exciting. <laughs> Rats have gotten a bad rap throughout human history, but people who share their homes with domesticated rats, Ratus norwegicus domestica, attest to their intelligence, charisma, and social natures. So, yes, rats can make great pets. Good, go and get one. I am uh, excited to learn about how your rat party is going. Black is fire. Yellow was thunder. No, yellow was blizzard. It's got to be fire.
Is it in here? This looks likely. Y'all ever see that video of a rat taking a bath? No, I don't watch videos of people drowning rats. Not happening. Mike's brain got coggers. I can't remember. Yeah, because there was yellow and orange. I think yellow was blizzard. Orange was thunder. I think. I think. My name is Ratinus Decimus Meridius, commander of the armies of the north, general of the Ratus legions, loyal servant to the true emperor Ratcus Aurelius, father to a murdered son, husband to a murdered wife, and I will have my vengeance in this life or the next. The next, ideally. Mycidia? The cave of Mycidia. All right. It looks like we're burning our way through this. Okay. Let's have a look here. Uh, can we go around there. There's a chest there. Let's go get the chest first. A lot of doors. Oh, no way! Hey, dude! Oh. All right. <laughs> right off. Uh, the black garb. Is that a caster garb? I bet it is. This is like a robe, isn't it? It is. Oh, it's awesome, though. Nice. Yeah, you can... All right, Zeppelin, you are black mage. Sure. Um... Okay, there's an exit down to the south. A spectre. Okay, ghosts are very much scarier than that. That's fine. Indeed, Prasea. Indeed. Indeed. Okay. Brains. We got some. That steel. That took half my mana and most of my health. Okay. Okay, those brains just get AoE'd instantly. We don't fox with those. We don't fox with those. Burn them. Burn them all. Oh no, fire doesn't do anything. Uh, thunder? Nope. It's gotta be Blizzard, isn't it? We're all about to lose all our mana. You motherfucker. I think we just go melee. We get hit, we get hit. Okay, Blizzard does do reasonable damage. Right. Do I bother healing you know who? Sure. Why not? Ah, an empty room! Shocking! Oh, here we go. Right. Black is fire. Red is thunder. I think. Poggers. <clears throat> I don't know why they have so many empty rooms. Obviously, they're more as distractions. But uh, there's a lot. <laughs> I'm surprised at this point they're not putting a lot of rooms in that have... Um, 
uh, just chests with monsters in and they give you potions and things. That's kind of what three and four did. Is the rooms weren't empty, they would have chests in, but they would be full of monsters. Not this time, though. Yeah, I don't think one had this many empty rooms, though. I don't remember... F I, I, I'm going off the memory of not thinking, why is there so many empty rooms? Which I don't think I had in one. That may be incorrect, though. It's something I've noticed in this one. Empty room, okay. <laughs> it's happened a hell of a lot in this one. Yeah, a lot of one chest rooms with monsters in the in the OG. The rooms are not empty. They are full of pixels. Smart. Actually. Actually. I think you'll find. Oh. It's me. Hello, me. Hi, me. Out of our way. Out of our way. Hmm. Okay. Let's go in the bottom right room. If that guy really was the doppelganger who copied my every move, surely I walk slightly to the right, so he walks to the right, and then I go in the door. <laughs> but okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Shit, I wasn't thinking. Please miss me. I mean, he looked like an idiot, to be fair. Oh, this is good. She got poisoned. She'll learn some uh, HP values. Great. Right. Fire. Fire. And we... It was thunder, right? No, this is it. It's the cave of Mycidia. Must be this door down here, then. Ambushed! Don't poison me! I miss Ratchat. No, you don't. I don't. I'm quite happy. Can I use a sooner in combat? Okay, Asuna just doesn't work. I think we have to level Asuna off normal poison or something. So it can deal with that. Oh, my dude's Asuna leveled up. Okay, does it now work? Now it works. Okay, good. Excellent. Empty room. Hmm. So how do we get past the doppelganger? We must need something else from somewhere else. There's nowhere else on this floor for us to go. Huh. I can't use the mask. This is the cave of Mycidia. So we've got the Tower of Mycidia, the Cave of Mycidia. There's... Potentially another place that's just my idea. Let's go and have a little goosey goose and see what we find. It's 
It's the only thing I can think of. There's nothing else to explore in this room, so... Yeah, I mean, there might be, like, the boat of Mycidia, the happiness of Mycidia. <clears throat> and if that's the case, where would it be? It could be below. Oh, it could be anywhere around here. We've never explored this area. Oh shit! A group this is of really bad. Is called a mischief, and a single mischief can interbreed for many generations without any negative effects of inbreeding, just like European royalty in the 1500s. Do you know what bothers this me? I'm pretty sure I've fact. heard the rat fact before. I think there's been so many rat facts that I have now heard them again. They have circled and come back. Has anybody seen my Sadia? If only we could have had coordinates or an airship that took us there. Where's Sid? I bet if we'd actually visited Sid, he would have flown us to it. <laughs> I'm thinking now, I bet Sid's now back at the place and he would have taken us to the thing. He's probably got his airship back, hasn't he? My city could also be to the east. Oh my fucking god. And I've turned to stone. Magnificent. Die. Thank you. Uh, which means I can't use the sooner because I'm stoned. Fair enough. No problem. Okay, let's tech west first. Let's go west. Uh, ghosts are very scary. Let's kill them fast. I'll find it. We found the stupid dreadnought. It's around here somewhere. That we. How are you not dead? Thank you. Rat fact six. There's a monument to rats and mice in Russia. Oh. Six foot tall bronze mouse is situated in the courtyard of the Institute of Cytology and Genetics in Novosibirsk, Russia. It's designed to commemorate the rodents used in animal tests and shows a mouse knitting a DNA double helix. Interesting. <laughs> Very interesting. Remarkably interesting. I did not. I wasn't aware that the dedication to rats was so widespread. That the love and care for the rat nation is something to be thought about. But now we know. Chills. <laughs> None of you love rats. If a rat was to run near you, you would shit your pants. You would absolutely shit your pants. You would be out of there. If someone was to tell you right now there's a rat in your house, you would be looking to get out of there and live in the bin outside. <laughs> you would be immediately done Here's with that place. Here's another annoying rat fact. Rats have a remarkable ability to squeeze through incredibly small openings due to their flexible skeletons. They can fit through holes as small as a quarter, making it challenging to keep them out of buildings and homes. Oh, I bet you did some shine. That actually, that, that, uh, that adds up. That adds up. That checks out. That passes scrutiny. So it had to be a pet rat from a cage that I knew was clean, I would love it. So anything ex except like, you know, the actual billions of rats that exist. Gotcha. I didn't know you were such a hoity-toity. Where is my satyr? This is ridiculous. I could never find a city. I found towers. I found caves. They're in obvious places. Where is it? I'm not even being blind. Like, where is it? 
All right, so is it to the south of the cave? Rats are just little dogs. I mean, that's a take. <laughs> that's a take for sure. <clears throat> Can't do nothing. Can't do it. Uh, I have my map. Yes, but it's not on the map, is it? Fun fact. Is it? Because it doesn't appear on the map until I've found it. Is the rats in the walls. This has been a rat fact about me. Do you know that as much as I love Lovecraftian themed games, I have never read anything of Lovecraft. I probably will. I should do that. And now we're in the desert. Is my city here in the desert? And these are weak to fire. Why are you in the desert? I am not sure where Mycidian is, but I know where our rape Sidian will be. In your office very soon. <laughs> Get the Necronomicon and Audible. Is that where the Necronomicon comes from? I generally don't know. I have no idea. Is that where the actual term Necronomicon was first coined? Yes, okay. I assume it was always the Book of the Dead. Like, in, uh, it, from its in emergence. Okay. So, Ressiel apparently spent some period of time putting rats in his mouth. <laughs> I don't recommend uh, that you do that. Uh... Yeah, he now develops a phobia because of it. Hope you're all doing well. Hey, Lacey, how you doing? Pretty good. Tastes like chicken. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Yum, yum. I would say the worst thing I had to put in my mouth was the bugs at the first subathon we ever did. That was, uh... That was some repugnant shit. And there's nuts chomping away on them like, uh... Like candy. He's, like, enjoying them and shit. That, like, cockroach... ...combo or whatever it was. Oh, it was awful. That was some really repugnant shit, that was. That, that, was, a, that was a rough day. Totally not worth it. I imagine they're more interesting than that. Nope, me into eating raw beef paste. Like, oh, not like meat spread. Like that. It used to go on, like, school kids' sandwiches. Uh, does a Suna work on that now, then? No. So you have to level up a Suna for it to work on all this other stuff, even though it costs nothing to get it. <laughs> and you can buy literally the cap of these items by the time. All right. uh, Meat Spread was your nickname in high school? Interesting. <laughs> I knew a girl called Meat Spread, but it wasn't an affectionate name. I don't think she knew she was called Meat Spread. <laughs> yikes. <laughs> yes. Very yikes. Very yikes. I can tell you now, she has 11 children, I think. It's 10 or 11. Something insane amount of kids. Yeah, 11. Uh, she has 11 kids. Uh, she's become... Uh, Emma still keeps up with her because Emma knew her as a kid. Uh, she was a model uh, for a brief period of time, and now she ad uh, she not advertises, but does something via TikTok where she like strips and stuff. Um, 
but she pushes a filter that makes you, if you're very overweight, it makes you look slim. Because uh, she's very overweight now, so she uses this filter to make her look slim. Uh, and she, like, pushes that on TikTok now. Apparently she's doing quite well doing it as well, so fair play. No, she's not cash catfishing. She shows off, like, um, how it works and stuff. Okay, I've been all over this map. Yeah, it works out. I don't know if she's a jerk or not. I've never talked to her. All I know is she was called Meat Spread because she obviously liked getting with a lot of dudes, but um, she never seems to be asked by it. Where can this place be? I've been all over this terrain. We can't go in the tower. We can't progress the cave. So... What do? Has Preach found the only place I can think of going now, then, is to the north, between here and the other place. That's the only place I can think we go. So, no, oh, let's go show you. So that's the only thing that makes sense that we maybe not checked. So around here, this like umbilical cord. Because we've been to the testicle before. I'm not grinding. I'm fucking looking for the place. What are you supposed to do? Go find it, come back, reload the game. Is that the plan? Because that's not going to work. Perhaps we should name one of the rats Nurgle, bringer of plague. <laughs> Nurgle's a good name for a rat. Nurgle's a pretty solid name. I can I can understand a Nurgler. I mean, surely Corn's a better name though. I probably will be mad when I find it. Like we, we've been to two places that are named Mice Deer, <laughs> yet we can't find Mice Deer apparently. Unless I was right the first time, and it is the tower, and I'm supposed to do something else. Which doesn't seem right. No, because there's nothing else I could do. Name one Queeg. Alright, dudes. Yes, I am Queeg. We are talking Jape of the Century. <laughs> To be fair, the last place we went was buried in a mountain. Okay. Uh, this is about as far south as we went last time. Not seen it yet. You mix up songs when I have ideas. Uh, in the future. It's very helpful, I know. <laughs> Not today. Uh, I wouldn't even say soon. It's, it's not as easy as you think. There's a reason it doesn't exist. <laughs> Monday. <laughs> so what I'm hearing is Monday, yes? No signs of Chadley. 
It has to be in this area. It's got to be in this area. It has to be. Everything around here is called Mycidia. It has to be in this area. Where have I not been? All I can imagine is I've literally walked past it. And I've been a couple of pixels off or something. So let's let's retrace. We landed here. We've checked the here. We've been along here. We've been through here. We've been there. We've been down here. So where could it be? I checked up here, I think. I don't know what to type here again, so I hope everyone is having a good day. We are having a great day. It's not there. So where the fuck are I you? I can't wait for you to play Rebirth. I'm having a tremendous time with it. Awesome. I'm sure you'll have a great time with it as well. Hope Just so. Just kidding. It's the right. <laughs> Get oh, <food> you. <laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> You jerks. You absolute jerks. I've checked over here. There's no building here. And now we're back where the other town was. Wait, 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 wait. No, the Colosseum was a different place. That was the Empire's world, right? That's what we should name the rats. Get and fucked. No, that was... Begins with P, that place. Because there's a town in the rocks. We've not been to... Okay, we're circling around here. Um... This is obviously not correct. So where could it be? Uh, my thought process now is to go and see Sid and see if he will just fly us there. Because we can do that pretty quickly with the boat. We'll just check the bottom of this peninsula. That's our maybe best choice. It's not inside the thing, no, because I saw the cave immediately. No. Oh, come on. Right, that's it. I, I mean, we've killed so many enemies. Let me out. I'm doing this out of just... I need to keep traveling. It's not like I'm not looking, you know? Go away. Could it be over the top here? It's around here. It has to be. Nope. 
It's not down that end. So we went down there. I feel like we're just like a couple of tiles off it somewhere. Checkers, just for my own sanity. You don't really realize how high the encounter rate is until you flee. Right, not there. Come on. Check the south. We'll do this last sweep and then we'll see if Sid. Let's just check inside the circle again where the cave was. In case it's in like the corner or something. Uh, people always get it bad if they know where it is. Uh, I found it straight away. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Ah! Cheeky bastard. Are you the same color as the stones? We got it. Cheeky bastard. News around here. I would have liked to... Uh, would have made more sense to have it in the connecting area between here. So the first area you come to. And why they tucked it into that little nestle. I guess in the shadow of the stones. It makes some sort of sense. My guy and my dude. In the shadows. His arms wide. Hello. Oh, Vivi. This is my Sidia, the Kingdom of Mages. You certainly come a long way to be here. I have. Yes. Uh, yes, I have. I assume you have some dope spells to sell me, which I can't afford because I bought all those potions. Would I be correct? Oh, my good. Uh, okay, the basics. Oh, do you just sell all the stuff that's available in every other shop? Uh huh. Holy... Very nice. Hi, Mike. Loved um, your FF14 video. The editing was amazing. Keep up the good work. Yeah, Chris did a fine job on that. Fine, fine job. Uh, elemental attacks, magic attacks. What's the difference between barrier and wall? Elemental and and then magic and sta oh so elemental and tax and status ailments okay and wall is just magical damage reduction uh, okay mm -hmm. oh you gotta remember a lot of the spells don't land you know if they're Got to break the fight. They usually make it so they just don't land. Have holy. Why not? Not you, Layla. You're poor. You get nothing, Layla. Uh, 
Uh, oh, we can buy giant's gloves, thief's gloves. What gloves shall we give you? I'll give you... Uh, I'll give you some thief's gloves. Uh, yeah. You can have some thief's gloves. Seems good. Hi, have you been gloveless this whole time? Just wearing leather gloves. There you go. Have some thiefy gloves. Enjoy. Enjoy, my friend. Uh, what weapons have we got in this town? Uh, the power staff. Ooh. A power bonker, a flame lance, the ogre killer. Hmm. Alright, we'll take two ice bows. I'll take two ogre killers. Uh, I've got to keep Zeppelin with her knives just for RP reasons. We're dual wielding ogre killers. <laughs> the true barb IP has come. Yes, uh, and an ice bow. You can both have an ice bow. There you go. There you go. Enjoy. Yeah, I, I don't sure what their weapon skill is with axes. Probably garbage. Uh, level five. Yeah, whatever. It's all good. Read many ancient texts in our town. Browse them at your leisure. Sure. Three artifacts protect the seal on the town. Oh, I thought it was two. I have two masks. I believe it is as you say. Time to break the tower seal is upon us. Sure. Okay. Seems good. Yeah, now to never fight another ogre. The wing sword is pretty hardcore when it comes to flying enemies. It does a ton of bait damage. Uh, okay. I see you downstairs. Some time ago, a wizard named Minwoo passed through town on his way to the tower. You best hurry. What's the third thing I need? I guess it's from your cave. A statue of the goddess is inscribed beneath the city. She has massive booba. She watches over the crystal rods. Okay. Do we care about the crystal rods? What's these two buildings? A very small isle lies in the middle of the sea. Black mask. Okay, I've got that. Sorted. We want to make the seal. I agree this is the time. You must first collect two masks, then travel to a certain cave somewhere that's constant. But then you should find the crystal rod, an artifact you needed. Right, but there's a doppelganger guy stood in front of it. So what do I do about that? It's the rice shrine. What do I do about doppel dude? The old doppel man. So I guess somebody's coming here. What do I do about the doppelganger? Let's see the booba statue. Hey, lady. Statue beams with a beautiful, a beautific smile. Okay. Nothing happens with the mask. Oh, white mask does, though. You place the white mask on the statue. Okay. <laughs> uh. Huh. Where's the crystal rods? Was I supposed to do this? Is this a good thing? Did that despawn the doppelganger? Maybe? I don't know. Okay. Maybe that's what we needed to do. Rodless and poor. Uh... We've been to every building, I think, haven't we? Yeah, that's empty. Huh. Nobody told me to do that with the statue. 
Did I miss an NPC? The artifacts protect the seal on the tower. Right, but I'm, I've, I've lost one now. Read the ancient texts. Where are they? You've many of them. Maybe the order matters? What, a mask on top of a mask? Seems crackers. Worth a try. No, I can't do anything to this now. She's just got my mask. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, bookshelf. Many old books. Okay, learn. There are nothing to learn. <laughs> I knew it. Books are bullshit. Hi, Mike. Yes, sir. Have you heard about this uh, new thing that came up about Netflix? About Netflix? So what they report on their stream, their streaming stats, right? All right. So it's been determined, because Zack Snyder uh, revealed it, is that for the purposes of their statistics, they assume that one view is always two people. They assume that one view is always two people? Yeah. That's a bold claim. <laughs> Can we do that? Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. In ages past pandemonium, the palace of the Lord of Hell emerged onto our land. The mages of old wove a spell of fearsome power and banished pandemonium, adverting the crisis. However, the mages feared that the spell was so powerful it could throw the world into chaos. So they constructed a great tower and sealed within its tome inscribed with the spell's secret. Oh, interesting. Uh... Make of the white mask an offering to the goddess beseech beneath my sedia. If thou art pure of heart, the doppelganger will cease to move. Okay. Fit then the black mask upon the doppelganger, and both he and his defiled heart shall fade. All right. We're learning. Books are really fun. Fearing that tremendous power they wielded might lead the world to destruction, the mages of old found a settlement in my sedia and dwelt there in seclusion. Okay. <clears throat> a close relative of the dragon, the wyvern is if trained to serve as the airborne people, mount of the dragoons. That mean that one sub is also smaller than a people, dragon, so five K subs would carry. mean ten thousand people subbed, and we have Fuck hit you, the goals. <laughs> Made it. <laughs> Made it. Uh, it carries four to five people into the air, so we're gonna get a wyvern when the egg cracks. Okay. Uh, I don't think we need to learn any more. I've learned enough from books. Yeah, that's some big brain plays there, Knuckles. Big brain plays. Okay, Books back to the cave. And then you actually read. Books are great. Poojas. Uh, books are pretty good. I'm not currently reading anything. Which is kind of lazy of me. Yeah, the final book tells you exactly how to get Excalibur and where it is. God bless. Oh, my axe damage is... It's fine. Yeah, that's it. Level those axes up, player. Oh, I listen to audiobooks. I'm just saying I'm not active. I don't think it's one or the other. I'm just actively not reading a book at the moment. Oh, no, the bombs attack you. They detonate you. That's what they're self-destruct is. Only if they hit you with it, which seems to be a very low chance since the start of the game, do they detonate themselves. It now dawns on me how far away we parked, how far away we parked our boat. <laughs> Emma would not be pleased if this was the supermarket trip. <laughs> I would, uh, I would be in a little bit of a, a situation if that was the case. I'm sorry, but this has bothered me for too long, and it's triggering me. So I must say it. Why is Lelian alive? Um, 
We decided because they brought her back again, or I decided to give her a chance. I've given her a good bow. Uh, I'm not actively defending her, but she's... If they're going to keep putting her in the party... I also think our characters are, like, too strong now anyway, so... Any leveling we do is just for funsies. I don't know whether we'll hit some sort of wall at some point, but that's how it feels for now. Each of our characters one-shots most enemies, including Layla. I, would, I wouldn't say too much not grinding, too much being lost. If they just said we had to travel north, we would have got this place immediately. It's part of the adventure of finding the place. I assume all we're getting out of this cave is a key then, considering the doppelganger, we use the masks here. Uh, your advert card just blindfolded. How did you get an NVIDIA overlay pop up? I thought you had the. Uh, no, I, this this is when we moved to the office. This is my NVIDIA machine. The, RT, uh, the RTX one is. The AMD one is being used for something else at the moment. When we set up for the Summerthon when we came back, we just plugged this one in here. So far, we haven't played anything that's required that juicy, juicy RAM. VRAM. Oh, that's the Horus, eh? Hi, Mike. It is War Master Horus Purple. I uh -huh. have an amazing offer for you. 56 books about a certain heroic heresy. Enough book to last you 100 years. And all I ask for in return is your devotion to the ruinous powers of chaos for all time. And also office rats. As somebody who is married to Emma, I'm pretty sure I've already devoted my life to chaos. May not have been what I thought was going to happen, but I'm pretty sure that is what happened. It's a troop. It's a big truer. Empty room. Yes. Nice game. <laughs> a good quality empty room is what I'm all about. Love me an empty room. That gorgeous. Oh, we should try holy. That's true. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know if it'll work on flans, because they seem to be weak to only one thing, but we'll find out. Uh, where are you? Holy! Deals holy, can it AoE? It can! Alright, sweet. Oof. <laughs> oh no, Layla's become our DPS carry. <laughs> We got my savage. <laughs> Layla hard carrying the damage. Empty rooms are the ultimate reward, because that means more room for rats. Just level up more than once. All right, will it go to holy five? Excuse me, All right, holy five or holy six?
When you get the rats, will Let's you find cover out. the walls in rubber? So that you can always be in a rubber room? A rubber room with rats? Are you kidding me? How does this system work? I thought it was based on amount of spell casts. Length and use is capped. Oh. Hmm. So we just kind of want to fire it off in a fight and then we can ignore it. FF2 Shrews. Yeah, exactly. Maybe we do two rounds of it or something? Just decide, I don't care. <laughs> Poor Coley. <laughs> the prospect of sitting here grinding a spell out is just like, nah. <laughs> I can't be fucking asked. Hmm. Ah. Yeah, I totally can't. I, 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 I don't care. In fact... I think we're kind of good. I don't really want to just flee every battle, but it just feels so unnecessary at this point. We just crush everything. Do you know what I mean? We just absolutely stomp everything. just got lost too many times and now we're like crazy think we're crazy powerful what do you mean sure sure <laughs> we got lost for good reasons monsters Right, these will kill because chest monsters give loot. I'm not even sure you can flee from these. Why would the cave you can only fucking get into after visiting the town that sells these things drop the loot that town sells? What sense is that? Tell me, explain to me, what sense is that, game? In case you can't afford it, by this point, if you can't afford those things, you are a fucking dipshit. Oh, there's a door down there. We didn't go in. 
I have thrown away hundreds of thousands of gil at this point just so I don't have to go shopping again. And I still have nearly 300,000. Those weapons cost 5,000 each. Of course. Other players didn't get lost, sure. We only got lost twice, by the way. <laughs> Literally twice. Down, down, deeper and down. Ah, the old three-door trick. Yeah, I really don't see the point in us fighting much anymore. The counter rate is extraordinarily high in this game. Uh, let's have to go all around the top. <clears throat> Stop updating me on the damaged planes. I don't want to know. <laughs> I'm going to be on planes for like 18 hours soon. Shut up. <laughs> I don't want to know. <laughs> Leave me alone. A potion. And then it has like a chest with a basic potion in it. It's so bizarre. There's a sneaky door down the south. There's just three empty rooms and the, the real door is the bottom empty. Okay. I don't think the game's bad in any means. It's just there's some very odd decisions. Like at this stage of the game... Even if you had gone directly where you're supposed to go, you'd have at least a couple of hundred thousand gold. And they give you a potion in the chest. <laughs> like, some of the enemies are dropping 15k. <clears throat> no thanks, Shalana. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I don't I don't need any scary plane packs. You're not gonna make me scared of flying, that's not gonna happen. Do they expect your players to flee? But then they gave you the weapon skill system. That makes no sense either. You think we're okay for stuffing? Okay, Chris is giving alright, we'll be taking a gamble in the stream. It's fat cat surgery time coming up. Chris believes we have appropriate amount of stuffing. We have bought eight kilos of stuffing for Fat Cat. You're manless and poor. I have my doubts. Alright, here's our stuffing. Wait, wait, keep it. Oh, so we're side by siding here. Okay. So they were vacuum sealed. Okay. Hmm. Apparently, uh, when unfurled, if we can use the word unfurled, it reveals a substantial amount of. Shit, me, is that one? Do we have four of these? Okay, maybe he's saved. Maybe he's saved. There's a chance Fat Cat's gonna be okay. <laughs> we'll see. What are we gonna do with all that stuffing? Yeah, we might have, like, a bag, like, oh, Jesus. This is like the fucking sandbags we had for a year. Oh, no, we'll come up with a use. Yeah, yeah. There's always a use for stuffing. I mean, we have to get him in there tight, though, right? We have to really smush him together. Vasca, <laughs> he's gonna become Vasca. I don't want to burst him. Yeah. The, uh, oh, okay. Uh, 
Uh, thinking of getting Chrono Trigger, how long is the game roughly? Uh, it's an old school one, so 20 hours? But well worth every second. Well worth every second. Uh, the stuff we got to use, uh, I can't remember. It's not the same as what was originally in Fat Cat, because that was them hundreds of millions of little fucking balls. <clears throat> what happened to no running away? Gimpy, we are so massively overleveled. It's it's literally a waste of time at this point to fight any of these battles. We one-shot everything. It's t It takes more time just to choose the correct spell, certainly with the flans. If we could melee everything, I probably wouldn't be too arsed, but... We are ridiculously, ridiculously over-the-top powerful. This has got to be a secret entrance into here. I can't see the ladder into this chest area. Is there a secret gap in the wall? Yep. <clears throat> I think it's just a case of, one, we had to do some exploring, and two, the encounter rate is extremely high. Uh, I bet part of it is as well, we ignored all the, or I ignored all the guest characters, so all the experience went on to our main characters. Ah, it's crazy high, yeah. I'm not sure which game has technically the highest encounter rate, but this has got to be up there. Uh, well, this just takes us on a big loop of the area. Is there another exit path? Looks like we can go out to the northeast there. Uh, northwest, even. Yeah, they cancelled the Layla DLC. Big sadness. It was gonna really, uh, it was gonna tell you all about what happened and why Luna Freya's not a uh, plain face. It was all started here at FF2. One day there'll be a character. <clears throat> there'll be an oracle. An oracle shall come forth called Luna Freya. And it was all contained in the Layer DLC of FF2, and it just never got to take off. Such sadness. Oh, Layla. I keep getting her name wrong. Oh. I'm, I'm looking for an item, right? A special item in here. Drain Tome. Osmo's Tome. The rod! So the rod opens the door. Okay, we have rod. Excellent. We have a thick rod. Glorious. Uh, and I parked my boat really far away. <laughs> Time for fishing. <laughs> it's happening again. Oh, it's, of course it's girthy. Nothing more horrifying than a thin dick. Get me out of here. I need to get back to the boat. We parked miles away. You did say that. That's what you were thinking. Uh, if, uh, if this works, we could just use a cottage at the door. And we will be in good shape. I'm assuming we don't need to talk to the Mycedians, but if we do, we can park the boat much closer. Oh, shit. Um, all my, none of my cards have mana. I have no health. Where are we? Layla. Layla's missing. Thank God. We're inside Leviathan now. Okay. Uh...
Fixed. Um. Wow, we we oh shit. <laughs> uh, what's aura? Enhances effectiveness. Uh, okay, let's have a pee. <laughs> Quick toilet break, guys. Quick toilet break.
sorry, I muted the mic. I actually apologized to you while uh, well, <laughs> I was talking. Good morning, Tetra. You're just in time for some surgery. Chris is just setting up the operating theater. Speak up, speak up. Good morning, good morning. Yeah, we'll fight the enemies in here. I've got some tunes blasting. Ow, 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 ow. Does it hurt a lot? Nope. Surely, though, we don't fight Leviathan in here, right? <laughs> I'm guessing. Because we're in Leviathan. A twist headband. What is that? Uh, defense up and magic interference down and evasion up. Seems good. You fight his colon. Ah, so it'll be like the Deathwing battle. Excellent. Just what I was hoping for. I don't mind fighting new enemies, just not when we're on the overworld or running around. Pretty good. <clears throat> Whoa! Alright, Pokemon. Fucking hell. Fucking Gyarados over here. It's a power sash. Armor and defense up and no change. Excellent. Would have liked magic interference down, but whatever. Doesn't matter. We're getting actually some good upgrades in here. Nicely done. Good job, game. What would I do if I won the lottery? Interesting. Uh, not tell anyone. I went into an enemy vagina. Uh, oh hey. Uh, I would still strip be a streamer. Honestly, I love I love my job. Uh, I would just turn off subs and bits and things. It's a dragoon. New arrivals, eh? So who are you? Where did you hear about the ultimate zone? Let me use the Wild Rose phrase. You don't know. Okay. Wyverns, what about him? What's with you people? <laughs> okay. I've been to my Sadia. Sure, okay. Mask? What are you talking about? As a matter of fact, I am a Dragoon. What? The Dragoons and the Wyverns have all been destroyed. That's absurd. Sure, uh... He blocks my way. Leviathan swallowed me. A power armlet? What does that do? Wonderful. Okay, my character is now so broken. Uh, how do I get this dickhead to move out of the way? We're in Leviathan. Yeah, I see that. Can you get out of the way? Uh, can you move? Show him my rod. So you guys were after the Ultima when you got swallowed up. Well, since we're looking for the same thing, I will join your team. There's a boat up ahead, but that was also one tough monster standing in our way. Who knows? Together we might be able to take him down. Hello, new guy. Let's hope you are not extremely low level. 500 HP. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Right when Leviathan opened its mouth, there's a second we could escape, but there's just too many monsters. How did you get books and shit? And tables and fucking beds? Yar, well, ain't this just great? Are we supposed to live out the rest of our lives in here? None of this would have happened to us if it weren't for that old man and his stupid rod. Ten years I've been living here. There's no way out, I'm sure of it. The sooner you give up and accept it, the easier it will be for you. Eh? 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 The Leviathan is the beast that protects the seal. It looks like it swallows up anyone who has a crystal rod. See? I've got a rod here. Think you're good coming down here with rod? Fucking stupid, lot of you. Uh, where is, uh, Layla? Is she dead? Is 
Layla Dedge. Old man shows you his rods. Hey! Rickard can do some damage. Nicely done, Rickard. The Gaia Blade. Garbage. Maybe it's better for Rickard. I assume he's using a lance. So. Uh, I haven't got a better spear for you. There you go. It's fine. I think the uh, issues with FF2, which probably most people are pissed off at, its story is solid. Its story is considerably better than FF1s and better than FF3s. Um, the leveling system and the idea of having um, guest party members is a bad one. I would just say it's just a bad idea. What, mate? Oh, yeah. Chris asking if uh, we want TTS during surgery. <laughs> I think that's fair. <laughs> FF4 is almost perfect in every way. FF4 is uh, a masterpiece. In my opinion just a great game i wouldn't replay it but uh, i think it's i think it's uh, such a great one-time game experience the diamond shield okay all right what's the big scary monster that's kept you locked in here for 10 years here it is a round worm make it past this thing and we can get the hell out of here blah, 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 blah. Shame there's only one boss OST. Oh, Alright, looks like it's weak to uh, elements. Ooh, it hits quite hard. Uh, let's try uh, Blizzard. And you try Thunder. You try Fire. And you just melee. Thunder's alright. <laughs> Seems fine. Just repeat that. Kill it. <laughs> Welcome, new guy. <laughs> Good job, new guy. <laughs> Face of the dirt where he belongs. Uh, yeah. Bye. Should we not go and tell the other people? No? Okay. Oh, I should have Phoenix downed him. Oh, well. Wait, are we going to space? No way. Are we going to space? Are we lopperating it? No way. No, just let us inside. Okay. <laughs> I thought we were on uh, lopperate country there. I don't see any chests on the map. I don't think I'm being blind. Vampire girl. Hello, vampire girl. Oh, they don't like fire. Okay. <clears throat> God, do you remember when everyone would use horny for vampires and fucking werewolves? Remember that period of time? What a fucking clown fiesta that was. That was weird, wasn't it? What a weird period of fucking time where people, all them fucking tweeny girls were all spanking their fucking carrot stick to uh, vampires and shit. What the fuck was that about? Two chests up north. Yeah, that was weird. 
<laughs> oh, I imagine some of you were a Tweety. You were down. Does anybody care to come forward and just say, were you, like, genuinely angry at anybody who was Team Edward or Team Jacob in a period of your life? Was anybody, was anybody here guilty of being like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> hey, I did cringy shit. I've got legitimate wars over consoles and all sorts. Oh, there were guys that were into it. There were guys down there. I watched the Twilight movie with my girlfriend once I was 16 at Scarby. Oh, I've seen all the Twilight movies. I love, I, I've, I've watched a load of movies. Yeah, of course you cringe as a teenager. It's nothing to be embarrassed about. You can look back and go, fuck's sake, but like... <laughs> you were a full emo. Uh, did you have eyeliner? Yeah. yeah! Oh god, leathery pants and trench coat. Beautiful. Beautiful. That's a dream come true, that is. That's a little bit emo. Yeah, I was a full goth for a while. Ain't no big deal. Oh no, don't put annoying enemies here. Boo. I was good playing FF10 and Dragon Ball games. That doesn't mean you weren't a cringe lord. Uh, we all played games as a kid. Uh, right. All that way leads to that exit. There's a ludicrously... Okay, the top one is definitely a... Uh... No, no, I'm not doing... Yeah, this is an empty room, for sure. Baked beads out of a can? I mean, that's pretty normal, I think. I think that's a relatively normal thing to be doing. <laughs> you die again. Rich. Come on, Ricky. If you die again, Ricky, it's over, pal. I'll heal you up, but if you die, you die, and that's it. That's 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 what I'm saying to you, Ricky. If you die, you die. And that's the end of the road for you, pal. I have never seen the Underworld movies. Uh, I've attempted to watch them a couple of times. Um, and both times I was so uninterested after the first 10 minutes that I just started playing with my phone and looking at something else. Yeah, like I've watched uh, thousands of movies uh, and I love watching a, a movie. Um, uh, I just don't feel that way about like just attractive women in movies yeah i think so it just doesn't do it for me sorry i'm not i'm not a mr special or anything but being attractive i mean i can appreciate how attractive kate beckinsale is but it just it's not gonna hold my attention in a movie i don't know I actually watched the Riddick movies recently with my kids. They were a blast. <laughs> Me and Max watched the Riddick movies. We had a great day. <sighs> they were so fun. There's one speed. My speed. <laughs> it's just so absurd. The entire prison thing they do is so stupid. I got myself caught so I could get my eyes shined like you, Riddick. They slaved me out! <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> you, uh, shown the third one? I think it's pretty Yeah, yeah, yeah. My kids are sound, yeah. Oh, right. oh, yeah, yeah. But one of the earliest things I ever taught my kids is things aren't, like, this aren't real. They're very cool with it, yeah. Yeah, they're all cutting the head off. Thing, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were actually more sad uh, with the dog. <laughs> yeah, the dog is what got them. James was like, 
Is that dog dead? <laughs> it actually pissed off. Oh, waterfall. Firefall. Lava fall. Uh, how do we waterfall? Up here. Okay, but there's another chest over here. Oh, I'm totally noticing my kids noticing, like, very attractive celebrities now. Especially Max. We watched Total Recall, and during the three breast scene, he just looked at me like... Nice. <laughs> I just turned to him and went, just don't tell your mum. <laughs> and he went, no problem. <laughs> yeah, just don't tell you mum. He's like, alright, no problem. Nice. Now he understood the uh, mutants and stuff. You made good progress, but you must defeat me if you wish to continue. Okay, fingers crossed. Oh no, he's doing a rat jump! Wow! That was cool. Fire Gigas. Do you not like frost? Is my guess. You do not like frost. <laughs> okay. Good job. Good job. Quite the barrier to entry here. Oh, now we're on a frosty floor. Okay. Is it slippery? Ice shield. I have to tell all of them to flee. God damn it. Uh, we can go all the way around. Let's check the empty room first. It's not an empty room. Those are icicles. <laughs> Good job. Good job, Ricard. <laughs> Good job, buddy. I think pressing both shoulder buttons. No, it doesn't in this one. It does in the other ones. In this one, it's a command. <clears throat> do we give Ricard another chance, or is, is, is it over for him? What do you think? Another chance for Ricard. <laughs> I mean, his, his HP should be getting slightly stronger. There you go, buddy. Where is Chadley? I am, like, ultra convinced at this point you never get Chadley as part of your team. It's a funny bait by the devs for you to name a fourth member of the team. And then he's just... He turns out to be either the final boss or the penultimate boss to the Emperor is what he's going to be. We know he's the Dark Knight. <clears throat> it's, uh, what did the Game of Thrones guys call it? Usurping expectations or something? Subverting expectations, that was it, yeah. Subverting the expectations. You expect him to be the fourth member of the team because he's Zeppelin's brother. But in actuality, he's a bad guy. Very bad guy. Oof. The worst. The worst. Hey, Skelly Bob. Thank you for 79 months, Skelly. How you doing, buddy? Uh, Chris, we need to start surgery soon. Drama time's coming. I hope we don't have another defensive mage. 
Oh, we do. And who are you going to be? Ice Chadley? It is! Ice Wide Walk. Question. Do you like fire? It's not like fire. Hey, he served his person. Are we doing a thunder place now? Uh, this way. Oh, no, no, no. I don't want to fight. For fuck's sake. God damn it. Good thing you wasted all that mana leveling spells. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we're well prepared is the thing. They did start giving us all these weapons to sort of counter these things. Oh, Rickard got poisoned. What a douche. Uh, oh no, we should do this. Just in case it helps us out. There you go, Ricard. Back on your feet, soldier. Uh, okay, we can't go there. There's two ways out of here. So, empty room here, no doubt. There's a chest there. I'm not going back. <clears throat> I don't care what you say. It's not Excalibur. And a good quality empty room. Solid, solid, solid. <clears throat> It'll be a fucking potion or something. It's always a potion. Or a fucking high potion. We won't get 100% chest achievement. Very sad. A wizard staff. The chests in here have been pretty good. I accept it. But whatever that one is, we'll just never know. Oh my god! Okay, chest here. I think it's two empty rooms and one chest room. Right? Oh, hello. Ooh, how does green work? Hmm. Oh, he's the Thunderman. What do we count a Thunderman with? Is he very weak to holy? I'm well, not physical. I think he is weak to holy. But we'll just burn him. Let's burn him in righteous flame. I think uh, if we'd leveled holy, I think you'd see clapping. But, oh well. It is what it is. We'll have to burn the Thunderman. 
Hey, I have rezzed Ricard three times and he's been one shot every time. Why the game is giving me these characters that can be one shot? That's not on me. I have given Ricard several chances. Uh, oh God. Look at this layout. Hmm. They're just not as tough as my guy. Yeah, my guy is such a beast. Oh, can we not run away if we're confused? Okay. Did we carry any of them debuffs out? No. Okay, good. Cure nine. Beautiful. Uh, let's do the chest at the top and we'll work our way back down. Oh, why are you fighting? Shit, did I not click flee on him? Oh, it's the boss of the previous area. Classic. <clears throat> Pretty sure we can't flee from... Uh, monsters that are uh, in a box. Box monsters. Might be wrong on that. Poor Rickard. I'm so sorry, Rickard. Bonk, bonk. Bonk, bonk. And uh, we got Bacchus Wine and Flare Tome. Ooh! Ben um, for Office Rat. Brackers, you fucking maniac. We were past it. We're past it. No, Brack, don't. Uh, I need to check something. Thank you, Brackers, but also... Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> 10k for office rat. no we're past it like it's not happening it's good it's all good we don't need to worry about it in any way i am inevitable you're not hang on we might die here actually 10k uh, for office rat. are we at risk of actually dying uh oh hold on hold on Oh my god, he just shot himself in the face with his bow and arrow. Oh my god. <clears throat> oh, oh no, it's all falling apart. This is your this fault, Brackers, you jerk. Alert. Oh my god. We're actually gonna wipe. He's killing okay, himself. for office rat. This is a test bit alert. I made a joke, Yuki. I made a little jokey joke. <laughs> we only wiped because our characters are so powerful, they killed themselves. 10k for office rat. Like, let's get real about what just happened. We wiped. <clears throat> oh, no, I'm, I will. If you guys hit 10k, I'll do it. But it's an insurmountable goal for a goddamn reason. Tex and Sith, they said so starter. Go away, man. No jokes. Only serious. No jokes. Let me out! Ten K for office rat. <laughs> Apparently it has to be two rats. It's important. <laughs> so I'm told. It's very important there has to be two. 
They must harmoniously live together. <laughs> oh, Lion, thank you. It's the big snack. What time? Lion, what time is it? Chris, where's, where's... What's happening? What? Are we running into difficulties? Are we running into difficulties? Okay. We've, got, we've only got half an hour left. Oh, yeah. We've got loads of time. Don't worry about it. I was panicking a little bit. Yeah, we're good. Uh, why has... Okay, I still want you to have Flare. Can I... Is it even worth us leveling Flare? I don't know, man. Can chat name the rats? My vote is for Greg's and Papa Moon. You can absolutely name the rats, but you're not going to get them, so don't worry about it. <clears throat> Don't worry about Bad it. Bad for office rat. Nice. Okay, we're good. Ciao, Pablo. Thank you so much. Bad also, stop trying. No, it's not a challenge. It was just a joke on the side of it. So let's not go further than that. It was still we were giggling today. It was giggles with. Just a bit of a giggles. That's all. Two rats is a bad idea. One of them will end up dominating the other one all the time, and the weaker one will get depressed. You have to get three rats. <laughs> Sub for rat jam. And in order to make sure they're extra social, you need four rats, right? Oh, good quality empty room. Nice, 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 nice. I can't be arse leveling flare. I don't care. I can't. I no. Ben K for office rat. Not happening. It's not happening. <clears throat> See, Brackers, this is why you're not invited for Christmas dinner. For encouraging this behavior. You're being incorrigible. Thanks, Brackers. I hope you had a fine time at Crawlicon. It seemed like everybody did. Don't worry, Mike. Bex gave me I'm a full recount. Some assets. We'll be there by the end of next week. <laughs> Fuck off, John. <laughs> Anytime you want us to sub goal, we always win. You cave in. Sheep for Bex Mike, at 50 Anytime you challenge us to a sub goal, no. you always win. You cave we missed plenty of sub goals, and it's fine. It's fine. It's totally fine. Especially you want to send in jest. Uh, I think they're sorting something out on Discord, uh, Shripsy. If it's not already done, I'll make one after I finish uh, streaming and stuff today. All right, well, it'll be tomorrow. I'll put something in Discord tomorrow for sure. Um, purely because it's date night tonight. Me and Emma are on date night. My focus will be on my good wife tonight. You're not letting me down. We went over this. Stop bringing this back up. We went over it. The practicality bad, of having rats. you end up with a middle child, so maybe four is better. Oh no, four is associated with death in China, so maybe five. Um, I don't know. It is an odd number. So are we settled then? Six rats. Are you telling me in this room, of the six rooms, five of them are empty and I've been to all five? There is no fucking way this final room is empty, right? Why are you attacking? <laughs> oh no, it's happening again. <sighs> the sooner level three. Amazing. All six rooms are empty. All six. Game. Six empty rooms. Why? <clears throat> Why? Why? 
Why would you do this? Have I missed something? If you do There's no other way out of this room. Can we get a hamster or guinea pig? And bet get a guinea pig. Can chat have seven? They get awfully lonely. No, because the last time I did anything... Okay, let me rephrase this. The last time Emma had to deal with guinea pigs when she worked at a pet shop, uh, they kept getting raped and she sent scarred her forever. It was a big deal. If you've ever worked in a pet shop, you'll know I'm not lying. Like, if you put guinea pigs together, it's a kind of rough time. Yeah, rodents will do that. By people? What? Why did, like, many of you ask that? What are you fucking... What's, what's wrong with you? No, not by people. What the fuck? Why is that your go-to question? Jesus. Wait, what? There must be another way out of that room. We beat the mage here to progress onwards. What am I missing? We've checked all these rooms. Didn't I? I did. check these rooms. It was six empty rooms. Empty. I'm second guessing myself because there's nowhere else to go. Oh, Jesus. Am I sure they're empty? Yeah, there's nothing in there. The sooner it's trash. Day LOK. Dormammu, I have come to bargain, a trance. I'm 99% sure we checked them all. Anyway. Um. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> moving on. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> uh, huh. So anyway, yeah, like, so anyway. I mean, I'm so used to seeing empty rooms is what it is. What's the hourglass do? Slow. Uh, how do we get up the waterfall? Oh, we're dead. If these do confusion, we're dead. Oh, we're dead. Dad saw you wanted these fancy shoes. It's not going to help. Ah. 
Yeah, right. The encounter rate is nutty in this game. Absolutely nutty. I won't miss this one. Ah! I know I don't need glasses. I've had my eyes tested. I'm all right. Ooh, a dragon. A uh, white dragon. Frost. Fire, thunder, melee. Thunder seems all right. Fire's better. Ice Storm 16. Ricard? Ricard lives. Excellent. Fire! Fire the cannons, my friends. And Ricard, you're here too. <laughs> Ricard's shield leveled up. That's fantastic, Ricard. Ooh, another black robe. Uh, I think my power sash is better. Yeah, so maybe for my guy. All good. All right, Ricard. You can have another heal. There you go, pal. God, you have so much fucking health. It's ridiculous. That was cool. That's the first dragon we fought. All right, which door are we thinking? One, two, three, or four. We've been down this road many times. We've had it be one. We had three. We haven't had four yet. I would like it to be four. One. Empty room. Any twoers? Two's good. I think it's two. Empty room. Just two. Two gang wins. And three empty rooms to go with it. <laughs> oh, this is last boss territory, isn't it? I've been waiting for you, my dude. Though I've managed to reach the seal, the magic binding, it appears to be extremely strong. Oh, Minwoo's going to turn out to be a traitor. I will concentrate every bit of power I have on the door. If it is enough, the seal should shatter. Everyone, stand... Oh, maybe not. Why didn't you do this while you were just chilling up here? Can we have that spell? That spell looks good. Midwu! Go through the door. You must take Ultima. Do not grieve. This. This was my destiny. Minwu. Our first guest party member has fallen in battle. Ricard, that's your future, pal. I hope you're paying attention. Ooh, balls. Let's get their blue balls. The crystal responds, I have bestowed upon thee the power of burning flame. Cool. Solitude of Earth. What's this XP potion business? Am I going to be alright with this? I was... Clarity of Water. I'm Smurter. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to get banned, but... Daddy Moo, can we kill Gordon next? Please. Uh, Joseph, in fact, two of our four guest, five guest party members have died. I just had my first McDonald's meal since I started dieting in December. 
I just checked the calories. Jesus fucking Christ. Mm -hmm. Correct. Uh, Zeppler, you shall be in charge of Ultima. There you go. I am not leveling the Ultima spell. I have Flair and Ultima. I'm not leveling them. Okay, I have the magic stuff. Uh, let's go see... Where's the sa the town gone? Oh. <laughs> uh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh. I didn't do that. That's not on me. I didn't do that. It looks like Gatry has been destroyed as well. Uh, Flynn still seems to be there. Yeah, Gatry has just been wiped off the map. It's not even here anymore. Thank God we moved everybody to this town. Oh, this place is fine. What happened? Everybody's dead. Oh. <laughs> Fuck. A cyclone appeared out of nowhere and started sucking people off. It was horrible. The way it moved, it almost seems to have some sort of consciousness. Garuda? This is very stressful. I better have a sleep. Very, 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 very stressful situation. Ugh. Time for a nap, I reckon. Let me guess, all the uh, hoity-toity upper class are still alive, are they? Oh, there's the cyclone. Do I have to fight a cyclone? <laughs> this isn't the takeaway of that message, but now I want McDonald's. <laughs> You're absurd. Jesus Christ, that thing's bad for you. Yeah. For those of us dangerously underweight, the calories per dollar of McDonald's is the greatest thing. Plus, I'm pretty sure they put cocaine in the meat. That's why you get the shakes if you stop eating it. You know there are other ways to gain calories that aren't eating McDonald's. You don't have to poison the rest of yourself to get calories. Just to be clear, if you need to get extra calories, that doesn't mean start scoffing McDonald's. That's that's not how that works, all right? <sighs> the Emperor's foul magic can control even the winds. Poffed, Palum, Altair, Gatria, all destroyed. And now the Cyclone is heading for Finn. Learn the word Cyclone. Ask about the Cyclone. The Emperor himself is controlling the bloody Cyclone, I've no doubt. It's that absolute rapscallion. Okay. Long ago, we summoned wyverns by reflecting the light of the pendant off the castle mirror. So, can I do that now? The egg's hatched, I suppose. The ultimate magic is in our hands, you know. What good does it do us? The cyclone will kill us all before we have chance to use the bloody thing. And frankly, I can't get a good cup of tea anywhere. Unless we sprout wings and learn to fly, I don't see how we can get into the bloody cyclone. I swear, it's probably rather northern. Wyverns? Never heard of the bloody things. That's the sort of poor people travel. What would I do? When the storm kicked up and the ship went down, I got separated from you. I thought you'd be dead for sure. It's good to be wrong now and again. Yeah, sure. Uh, let's go and check the uh, magic mirror. Uh, we get to the magic mirror uh, here and then this way. Yes. You approve of the McDonald's. I mean, we rated the fast food chains yesterday, but I'm a Burger King man myself, but thankfully, praise the Lord. We look above at the trolley and by his guiding wheels, I am unable to have Burger King, because there is not one within a 10 mile radius of me. Magic. Well, several miles. There's one in Manchester. Uh, pendant. So is the egg hatched now, then? We rated Kit Kats yesterday. Not high enough. <laughs> we didn't rate them high enough. Uh, hey! We got Charizard! Sick. 
I don't have to go all the way back to get it. The image of a young wyvern shimmers in the mirror. The egg is finally hatched. The wyvern is speeding towards Finn. Oh, it's arriving. Like a taxi. So now do I go fight a cyclone? Wyvern and Dragoon are together once more. Aww. Wasn't Rickard the father of the, um... Uh <laughs> Wait, Ricard's still in the party. What what just happened? Uh oh. And the message is coming Burger in. Burger King is a franchise. The chat can open one near your office. No thank you. You could even bring your pet rats along. Oh we are shit. pet friendly too. Boys, we got a tip pick. What do I think of your holiday bikini? The appropriate response, of course. Boober eyes. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna walk. I saved because I'm about to walk into the cyclone and see what happens. Uh, okay, we'll go in 11 minutes. I've got to fight this. Fight the cyclone. Weren't you already in the? Where are you taking me? Again, this, we have broke our flea rule in this game, but there is no reason for us to kill anything anymore. The Ripper. That sounds like a dagger. <sighs> it is. Uh, I'm wondering if this is the final dungeon of the game, because the Emperor's controlling it, so is the Emperor in here? I'm assuming we've gone the wrong way, though, because we could have gone top left in that other room. So I'm guessing this is a dead end. Ooh, electric floor. Fancy. Poison axe. Yeah. Okay, back down. And back Skipper, around. Scammer, safe scummed, grinder. You've cheated the game and yourself. Start That's all right. From the beginning. Hey, I'm keeping Rickard alive. Mercy on your soul. Cheers to Rickard. Place your bets on how many times he dies on this uh, little excursion of ours. <laughs> yeah, he died last night. Uh, so. Oh, Rickard, not looking good, pal. Oh, not the confusion. I think Zeppelin just killed him. <laughs> oh no, Zeppelin's gonna kill us all. Don't do it, Zepp. Don't do it. It's not worth it. For that, Zeppelin, you have to res him and explain what you did. Oh, we not got a life tome? I thought we had one. Oh, we do. There is. Your punishment, Zeppelin, is to res him. Tell Ricard what you did.
Ah? I'm sorry. She says she didn't mean it. Zeppelin, you can... S Rude. Rude, Zepp. Rude. Okay, round here. And then... Two ways out of here. Empty room. Poggers. Wait for it. Wood golems. I have to check something. As it should be. <laughs> what a really stupid thing to make golems out of. <laughs> that is a really bad idea. So it's like the main way to go. So let's check the other way. Wait. 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 There we go. I see you now a problem with my chocolate golem that I've been working on for quite some time. <laughs> I see my uh, my plasticine toys have one fatal flaw. It's a real shame. All right, two ways out of here. Oh my! These are some really out of the way chess game. Like very out of the way. It's got to be worth, surely. I'm pretty sure 70% of the chests are in the last fucking two dungeons. Can you run from these? Can't escape. No, I didn't so. I kind of feel bad for him. Dude, these enemies are starting to rock. We may have, like, dipped on too many fights. These enemies are actually starting to kick some ass. They're hitting for, like, a thousand. Oof. Time to grind. Diamond armor. Very nice. Very nice. Exciting. Uh, let's use the rest of these potions. <laughs> potions go burr. How many high potions do we have? 95. Uh, I don't think so. I, I, th I think they're just weak to magic. Uh, I'm still... Zeppler! She's always angry. It's just like real life. She's permanently in a state of anger. I know you guys see her on stream and don't think it's a big deal, but let me tell you. She's perpetually just in a state of somewhere between... <laughs> Is my bikini nice? <laughs> the, boober, the boober eyes don't work on Emma. She's not a twitcher. She doesn't get it. You can't just send boober eyes and uh, that delivers the entirety of the message. It's the breast. <laughs> <laughs> it's the breast. No, what am I doing? I'm a fucking idiot. 
I'm an idiot. Well, maybe. Uh, can you uh, take some picks from different angles? I'm an idiot. I'm such an amateur. Three empty rooms. I need the zoomed out version, the zoomed in version. Side, back, the whole thing. Off. What does it look like on the floor? I don't want us to have a messy looking laundry area. Uh, have we checked all the rooms? Hold on, it's happening again. Did I miss the way up? Her response is... No, it's not her. She cancelled the message. Hey, if you don't get distracted by a wife in a bikini, you done fucked up. Did I check all the rooms? I think I did. Is this entire area empty? Do I prefer tits or ass? I just like women. <laughs> I'll take the whole package, thanks. I'm a greedy little piglet. Can't escape. Uh, what do we think? Fire, ice, melee. You go melee. You go fire. This message. You go ice. I'm not leveling holy, man. Fire is. Fire's good. Melee better. Oh, true. I haven't casted Ultima. Uh, do I have to level Ultima? Who has it? Zeppler has it? Two hundred and five. What is the point in giving me a mega spell that I have to then level up? Why doesn't it come pre-leveled? <sighs> okay. Well, I'm assuming... Can you not escape from any of these? Oh my god. They've stopped me escaping. That's cringe. Nah, I, I pushed too far and too fast. Emma's no longer replying. <laughs> we, don't, we, went, we, we made a play, but it didn't pay off, team. Actually, I think she's getting the kids now. The opportunity has passed. Boober too close to the sun. Oh no, man. Zeppler's killing me. She's killing herself. Good job, Zeppler. She sacrificed herself for the team. I can respect that, Zep. I can respect that. Zeppler hurt herself in her confusion. Classic. She did what was best for business. She literally dipped on the team. Oh, wrong way. Uh, so, we must have to go... ...in this one. No, I'm not. I'm not leveling Ultima. You have unlocked the best spell in the game. Unleash Ultima for a whole 200 damage. Not sure what Lehabria was hoping for. Yeah, it's these are the decisions that make FF2 weird. Just random shit like, you have gained Ultima and Flare. And it's like, now you have to level them up because they do 200 damage.
And they're completely inferior to the other spells you have. Until you hit the last boss, which is immune to fire, ice, and thunder. And can only be hurt by Ultima. I hope you leveled it up. Because if you didn't, you are fucked. The Green Dragon. Hmm. What do we think green's weak to? Thunder? The other one was weak to fire. Uh, I'm gonna go fire or ice. I think it's thunder though. 200 damage, Ultima. A thousand damage, thunder. <laughs> Good job, Ultima. Solid effort. Thunder is the winner. Thunder wins. Ricard's dead again. Good job. Hundred and twenty-nine Ultima. Pretty huge. Ultima leveled up though. Ooh, I got a wind flute. <laughs> Oh, this is the last floor. Look at this. Ah, the Emperor. So you revived the wyverns, now you are here. Yet you are but insects, unworthy even of being crushed under my foot. Oh, you're, you're the royal guard. Uh, shit, what were they weak to? Was it thunder or fire? I don't remember. I know Ultima 2 will be giga strong. Pyow! 157. <laughs> it was melee. That was melee. Chatley's gonna be. I think we kill. My guess now is we kill the Emperor, and that releases the magic hold on Chadley. And Chadley could join the rest of us in the paradise that we've created, even though a lot of the worlds have been destroyed. Oh. Is that the fight with the Emperor? So you've some skill after all! Let's see how you manage against this! <laughs> Fingers crossed we'll be okay. I hope... No, he wouldn't. It can't be. Not four. Quite extraordinary, really. It would appear I've sorely underestimated how much leveling you've done. You should consider that I'm about to do you a great honor. I will kill you personally. You brought a wood golem. <laughs> That's using the old thinking box. Put haste up. He's a big boy. Cast Ultima on him. Pew! I shall kill you personally. As I hide behind my gang of assholes to kill you for me. Personally. Ultima with a big 130 damage. Okay, melee seems fine against him. As does Frost physical. Oh, Ricard, don't die! No! Heal Ricard! We can't live without him. Oof. This can't be the last boss. <laughs> okay. 
Remember chat, 10k oh, for office rats. Die. Uh. No, that can't be the last boss. We haven't got Chadley back yet. Rip David Bowie can't believe you died to force Marcus. It's over. We should go back to Finn. They'll be waiting for us. There's no fucking way the game's done. Where's Chadley? Through your efforts, we have finally defeated the Emperor. Thank you. The you world was shrouded in darkness, all but now the light of peace shines once more. My dude, Dipla, my guy, and Rickard, I suppose. What more could we ask of you? The tales of your bravery will be handed down for generations. Now, let us celebrate. Many have come hoping to catch a glimpse of the heroes who brought down the Emperor. I wouldn't want to disappoint them. Have we finished the game? Wow. Poor Layla. <laughs> Poor old Layla, eh? <laughs> my ladies, my lords, the Dark Knight Chadley has declared himself Emperor. He's reorganized the Palamacian Empire. He'll send troops, he'll, he'll slaughter us all. Why did you- why did you die? <laughs> okay. It can't be. Not Shadley. The Dark Knight has ascended the Emperor's throne. Chadley, the Dark Knight, but I thought he was your friend, your- Isn't he your bloody brother? I go to him, I make him understand. He must be under the spell of the Emperor. Ooh. He's ascended the Emperor's throne. So what play can be? Palmasia. Okay, learn Palmasia. Castle Palmasia is a fortress situated high in the mountains. It cannot be approached on foot. But I have a wyvern. Question mark? I can, I can fly. Okay. Chadley, the Dark Knight... Do you really think you can fight Dippler's brother? This is our battle. You have to let us finish it. <sighs> I had a bloody feeling you'd say that. Just make sure you come back, okay? It's an impregnable fortress. Luckily, Paul doesn't know the meaning of the word. I heard him bragging about breaking in. Okay. Bloody- Paul! Paul! has been the linchpin of this whole operation. This this entire situation is unmanageable without the burglar and thief himself, Paul. <laughs> Paul the savior is here to bring it home. Me mate Paul. <laughs> it's me mate Paul. All right, Paul. Just when we get the Emperor out of our hair, the Dark Knight has to go and louse things up again. Okay. So you're not going to tell us how to get in? Who is this Sid? That Cyclone really did a number on me back in Paloom. Oh, my body isn't taking too kindly to the idea of moving around. Paul! Oh, Sid's just going to bed while he's in the middle of a conversation. Sid okay? I'm a bloody mess is what I am. But my airship made it through without a scratch. I want to lend it to you. That's lend you. I'll be wanting her back. You take good care of her. Sid. Sid, no. 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 Sid. Sid. God damn. 
Oh, well. Uh, Paul, I've got a, an airship. That was Sid's dying wish, you know. He knew he was dying, but he was ready. He planned on giving you the airship when his time came. He loved that ship with all his heart, and he entrusted it to you. Think about that. And think again why such an epic fantasy character is named Paul. The time I snuck into the castle, I used a kite to land on the roof. The only way in is from above, from the sky. If there was ever a time to use Sid's final gift to you, I say this was it. Wouldn't you? Okay. Uh, I think... Can anyone crunch the numbers on this? Have there been more deaths in FF2 than any other Final Fantasy game of story characters? I think so, right? FF2 has, FF2 has quite the high body count. Uh, where's the airship? Now, I know where it is. I went there earlier. Dude, what? You parked it over there? <sighs> Fuck you, Sid. No wonder he fucking pissed off. He didn't want to fucking go and pick up his own shit. Oh, way more than 16. For, in actual story characters, not like the killing of NPCs. Like, story-relevant characters. Uh, I think... Uh, level ultimate? No. I don't think so. The leveling system is dumb, and ultimate will remain dumb. My fire, blizzard, and thunder are so much better. Uh, was it here? No. Uh, where did he park it? I wasn't really paying attention. Uh, is it in the royal place? Oh, it's there. There it is. It's on the map. Whee! We got an airship. Yay! Uh, we've got Fat Cat to do. Do we save this and finish on Monday and start 13 on Monday? Or do we finish this now? Well, hmm. at least we know it's not yeah, as much I think as we your save. body count during BG3. Yeah, are you ready, Chris? Chris is ready. Ricard? <laughs> Good lad. Okay. I have I I will I have no idea how this 